Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Welcome to Sewing Street on Tuesday, the um, oh, I don't know, 11th, couldn't remember the day, of October. Um, lovely to see you this morning. We've got some great things in store for you today. I've got them all on my desk, actually. Uh, we're going to go through the menu in a minute, and I'm going to have all my props so I can show you everything that we've got. But we have treat, treats galore. We've got, um, just to let you know, Amber Makes is on pre-order. We've had so much love for it on the Facebook page. Lots of you saying, oh, I don't know which one I'm going to buy. They're all behind me. Let them go. They're all behind me. But they're all on pre-order, ready for you. I'm going to be on um, air with them at 10. But let's do early bird. Now, I'm loving the early bird today because it really applies to several of the projects that we've got in the show. So sometimes we give you um, new products. Sometimes we give you unusual things. But this is one of our basic fabrics that always sells. It's our beautiful rose and hobble, hobble, 100% cotton, beautiful quality fabric in beige. I don't like that word. I'm going to go neutral in a lovely neutral shade because beige. But really. Now we've bundled it as a two meter piece. Now they are cut as two meter pieces. So if you multiply them, you will get them at each one as a cut two meter piece. So this is our basic fabric, 100% cotton, quilting weight, 44 inch width in a lovely neutral shade. And Hannah is gonna take off half a meter for free. So you're gonna get two meters for the price of one and a half, 11 pound 37. Now this is brilliant. So I'm thinking that um, the So This Is Christmas panel is back. And when I use that panel, I um, use lots of just plain fabric as well to make it go further. It's ideal for that. Lots and lots of other things. We've got some William Morris fabric coming up and this goes beautifully with it because the sort of the background neutral shade of a William Morris, I'll show you those in a minute, goes really well with it. But if you want a lovely neutral shade, it's like um, a darker calico. That's the shade of it. It's really not, I mean, it's called beige, but it is very neutral. Two meters for the price of one and a half. And this, remember, is our Rose and Hubble quality fabric. This isn't um, any lower quality at all. It's 
it's fantastic isn't it so if you want to get your hands on that that price is just our early bird so it will only be available till midnight as a bundle two meters for the price of one and a half can't go wrong that's a nice early bird to start with isn't it and um i'll be keeping it with me all morning so i should be showing you well it's only until stocks last no thank you <laughs> sorry Hannah goes do you need anything for morrison's at the supermarkets are available yeah there are other supermarkets available yes three large donuts please do you want anything Hannah will pop out and get it to you text in what you'd like and we'll just get it delivered <laughs> Yeah, three donuts would be nice, actually. I'm not sure when I'm going to eat them. Um, anyway, that's the early bird. Please do check out on that. Have we got a message now? Where is it? Okay. Oh, good morning, Hannah and Rebecca. Morning, Rebecca. L love you from Blackpool. Oh, nice. wonder what Blackpool's like this morning. Morning. What's Blackpool like this morning? It was really, you know, I actually had a frost on my car. Unbelievable. It's only October. How did that happen? It was really cold. Really, really cold. So I hope it's nice and sunny in Blackpool. Right. The early bird is selling, selling fast. Quarter of the stock has already gone. Don't forget, you are getting two metres of this lovely neutral fabric. 100% quilt, quilting weight cotton, 44 inch and um, you're getting two meters for the price of one and a half so half of the stock's now gone so you're thinking um cushions put put it on the back lining a tote bag making other things go further it is perfect with the william morris which you're going to see in just a minute and um we've got some rather lovely sneak preview jason yenta brand new christmas fabric and how well does that go Make your designer fabric go further with our special offer. Pre-order, that's on pre-order. Already on pre-order. I'll be showing you that all morning though because Hannah and I are a little bit excited about it. We love a Christmas fabric. Uh, message on my bottom. Morning, sunshine, love from a sunny Guernsey. Oh, oh, I would like to be in Guernsey. But I'd love to be there. I'm going to I'm going to France next week. I'm going on Saturday. I'm going to France. Actually, I might even if I go via Guernsey on the ferry, although it is overnight, so I might not see it. I'll give it a little wave. Always wanted to go to Guernsey. Um, morning from sunny Guernsey. Please carry on checking out for this. It's going really really fast, but it is a fab offer, isn't it? Half a meter for free. Got to be done. I think Hannah was feeling rather generous. I think she got a bit overexcited by the Jason Yenta fabric. A little bit more, a little bit more, um, and it goes so well with it. So do keep on checking out with that. Right, shall we show you what's coming up today? Because it's we've got a little bit of a Christmassy vibe, but not totally. So eight o'clock, we've got William Morris fabrics and quilts. We have got three quilt kits for you. They are gorgeous, and I've got the quilts here to show you. Absolutely gorgeous, and good time of year to be indoors making a William Morris quilt. And um, we've got some fabric bundles. We're thinking arts and craftsy Christmas. You know, how nice would that be? It kind of goes, doesn't it? Because William Morris is very sort of warm and country and lovely. Oh, and we've got wool pressing mats. One of my favourite things, I bought myself one a couple of years ago. Absolutely love it. So I'm going to show you how brilliant it is and why you need it. Because they are fab. Now, nine o'clock, we've got Becky in from Crafters Companion. This isn't just new Velvet Fabrics. Oh, no, this is world launch. We have been lucky enough here on Sewing Street to get the world launch of their new Velvet Fabrics and Templates. They're in colours. We've got templates of what you can do with them. There are some beautiful, the, tote, the boxy tote bag is gorgeous on them. Little heads up. If you check out now on these bundles, then um, don't worry, because they are going to go lower. But you know the way that it works, that whatever price you pay, if it goes lower during the day, you will have the lower price applied to your basket because it doesn't close till midnight. So you'll be absolutely fine. But the bundles, what you see on the website, the bundles will be going lower than that. The templates to make all the different patterns are there and the new velvet fabrics, they are gorgeous. And they're not like your classic frayy frayy velvet, no. They've got almost like a jersey backing, so they're really, really easy to sew with. Anyway, Becky's going to be with us at um, nine and going to be showing us what to do with them how to use oh we've got continuous zips on the roll as well 
Oh, I love those. Five meter zip on a roll with loads of ends. Much more economical way of having a zip and you never run out. That's at nine. At 10 o'clock, I'm going to be on with our brand new Tootly Tootly Toots. Um, and they are already whizzing out. We've got them on pre-order as well already. So if you want to get your hands on them, you can go onto the website and get them. So we've got the um, Christmas shopping one. There it is. Which features um, a haberdashery, obviously, and other shops. And they all come with this. So you get in the kit, you get the panel, you get the instructions, and then you can make the bags. There's the gnome family. Mummy gnome, daddy gnome, and baby gnome. And the, you get a bag and you get the zip case is both on the panel. And then this Christmas post, which is your kind of classical Christmas post box with a little robin on top and a church in the background. Although I said to Amy, I think that's a bit more of a cathedral. It's a very grand church. Uh, and those are all on. And also, when I was on last week and we were selling the Christmas cards, we have a few packs, very, very limited on the Christmas cards. We've got a few of those left. But we also did the panel, so this is Christmas. Chris and Hannah's now singing. So this is Christmas, which is the panel of all of the printed cards, images, big ones, small ones, and strips. Now, we sold out in about half an hour because we didn't print enough, but we have been lucky enough to get these back in stock. They are on pre-order already, and at 10 o'clock, I'll be showing you what you can make with them because I made something from everything on the panel, so I can show you that at 10, but I just wanted to let you know that they are on pre-order so much so exciting right that's 10 11 o'clock um becky's back with us and she's got the build build a block project now it's back in stock it has been out of stock for a while if you've got the gemini machine it's brilliant it's a patchwork system where you get the dies and they there's 18 different dies for you to cut out all the um the blocks becky will be with us showing exactly how it works you know that sometimes a lot of people say the worst bit about patchwork is cutting out you don't need to worry about that this does it for you so you get the pack and it has 18 different dies to cut out all the blocks and she's going to show us how that works that's at 11. then at 12 o'clock it's christmas fabrics um did i mention we've got new jason yenta fabrics brand new look at this one. i like this one i'm just going to show you one of them just a little tempter but they are on pre-order so you if you want them Look at that one. Ooh, nice. Little stripes. Available by the half meter, so you can buy loads of that. Um, yeah, I think in tablecloth, very nice. So the, those are all on pre-order. We've got lots of other Christmas fabrics and we've got some Christmas kits as well for you. So we've got a little bit of mixture. We've got a little bit of Christmas. We've got a little bit of other sewing as well. Um, morning to everybody who's messaged me on facebook glad you're watching it's going to be a fun day so shall we talk about oh yes sorry we missed how to get in touch how to get in touch we forgot right if you'd like to get in touch with me or becky or hannah really and you've got any quite really anyone and if you've got any questions or you'd like to share pictures of what you've made or any comments, um, message the studio, studio at sewingstreet.com and then Hannah will pass it through to me and we'll answer it. It's lovely to hear from you because otherwise I feel like I'm all alone. But if I know that you're watching and you message me in, um, it feels like I'm with you all instead of just standing here on my own looking at a black screen. So please message me studio at sewingstreet.com you can also message us on the facebook page if you would rather sewing street tv and i am reading your comments so i know what you've said they're just sitting there next to me and they're always nice good morning everybody from margaret good morning margaret so message the studio sewing street tv um, if you'd like to shop with us because that's quite kind of useful because we have got an amazing product today. The easiest way, there's two ways, you can do it by phone, but the easiest way is to go onto the website, www.sewingstreet.com. Then what you do is click on watch live. If you scroll down from there, you can see that's where I am. Oh, is it sold out? Early bird. Oh, well, I'm going to put that to one side. I was going to show that in a minute. Uh, this will become two columns. Yeah, so pre-order, it used to be called pre-order, but they've changed it to coming up on today's show. So those are the things that I haven't talked about yet. Oh, that quilt kit's already sold out. There was only one. There was only one, to be fair. 
um, it's an exciting, exciting day. So there's everything. So I don't want you to miss out. We have a lot of people who say, well, I managed to watch at eight. I'm not going to be around for 10. But don't worry, because it's all there. You can order. Now, some of the items, there are a few that Hannah's going to do a little sneaky offers on. But oh, those, are, those two bundles are limited edition and we won't be able to make more when they're gone. So if you want to get ahead, and if the price does lower, don't worry, you will only be charged the lowest price at the end of the day. There's the world exclusive velvet bun velvet fabric bundle with the pattern packs as well. And then you can also buy the velvet on its own. It's lovely, you'll see it all at nine o'clock. Um, there's all the zips on the roll. I think they're brilliant because then you just got all the zips and you can just cut the piece you need. Quite often, I have a really long zip and I only need a small bit. Now, if you've got your Gemini, the Builder Block is back in stock. That is all about pre-cutting your patchwork um, pieces to the exact size that you want them to be. You obviously, you need a Gemini machine, but don't you worry, we've got that. Um, you can order that as well. But um, Becky will be at Levers showing that. So that's all there. It's all on pre-order. Um, there's the, um, the to Tootly Totes for Christmas. If you want to look really stylish when you're going Christmas shopping. But, you know, the, you don't have to be Christmassy. They're more wintry, really, aren't they? Oh, these are flying out at the moment, which is nice. Uh, we've got a few of the Christmas cards and not many, a few packs. I'll show you those at nine. But don't forget the panel. There were so many of you that missed out, which was really sad. We didn't have enough. But we have got them back. And I'm going to show you at 10 o'clock what you can make with just one panel. It's an amazing price as well. I think they got that wrong. Actually, we had a discussion up in the office. And the discussion that we had with the price was not that. It was actually more. And then I think there was a mistake. But I'm going with it because you get a great panel for 9 99 There's the Jason Yenta. Did I mention we've got new Jason Yenta fabric this morning? Christmas fabric is gorgeous. It's really classic Christmas, beautiful. Loads more other Christmas things, Christmas fabrics. We have got a few Christmas kits. Um, oh, we've got the Christmas storage baskets. We've got the nativity scene. Um, oh, we've got Victoria Pete's Christmas there. Oh, look, there's the polar bear. Love that bit of um, Lewis and Irene as well. Liberty. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, don't forget the advent calendar. Got that as well. We still have a few of those left, left in stock. So don't forget the advent calendar. Mm. Right. I'm going to move now to William Morris. Well, not actually, because he's been dead for 180 years. It was, his, um, it was the anniversary of his death last Monday, actually. Yeah, we had a special, a special hour all about it. Now, look at this. Look at that. This, it, we have got a full kit to make this. It's beautiful. It's 180 by 180 centimetres. That's good double bed size, because that's like six foot, isn't it? It's gorgeous. It's what I love about it is there is no plain fabric at all. It's all William Morris print, even the um, border fabric and the binding fabric. And what I worked out because I did this had this on uh, last week. What I worked out with it um, is there is enough fabric in the kit for you to use little bits of all of the other prints as a scrappy binding around the edge, which is always nice. But there is enough fabric in the binding. The only thing you don't get is the backing and the wadding, which you never do, but isn't that lovely? So it's a six foot square quilt, all using William Morris fabric. So should we have a look, a look at what's inside? So comes in a lovely box, very nice to gift. When did I, third, third, yeah, so we have this on air on the 3rd, and we, I know, and I think it was Ben, he took £10 off, so Hannah, you're going to have to, I can't remember, I think Ben was just having a moment, he does that every now and then, um, so yes, you are going to have to match it, so let's take £10 off, 129.99. now, full instructions, very handy, really good, and I love the instructions for these kits, because it gives you photos, it gives you photos of all of the um, fabrics, which makes it really easy to do, so you can see what goes with what. Remember, you've got the binding in here. You will just need the backing and the wadding. Um, basically, you'll need, if you buy extra wide backing, and we've got Christmas extra wide backing on at 12 o'clock, you'll need two meters of that. Um, all the instructions, very, very clear, very easy to understand. 
they it shows they've got diagrams and they've got words and they always do a complete quilt layout as well to help you and there's even some nice diagrams that explains how to do the mitered border then in the box you get all that in tissue paper I'm going to try and do it very carefully love this I think that's lovely so even if you bought it for yourself but lovely gift isn't it then it all comes wrapped in ribbon these things are important there we go and then you get all of these William Morris fabrics aren't they beautiful look so this one well you can see this is the plain the plainer fabric that's well not the plain the lighter fabrics that's used in the inner border you get all of that gorgeous so and I found because I have um, demonstrated a few of these kits there's always a little bit left over on the edge which you can then use for binding which means you get sort of fabric extra you have to see how it goes and what you've got left over but it does give you a little bit of margin for error but the best the good thing about this kit is that because it's got all of the fabric in it you don't then have to, have to search to find fabric to create the same look you've got loads of this gorgeous spot fabric because that's all used for the outer border and part of the cross section um, the darker cross parts here and it's used for the binding as well so you get all of that there's loads of fabric in here 6.75 centimeters actually um, love this one this is your iconic William Morris isn't it look at that one beautiful lovely shades of sort of denim and navy blue with those trailing vines absolutely gorgeous fabric I mean it is a work of art to be honest if you haven't got a bed to put it on hang it on the wall it's nicer than a painting isn't it then you've got this lovely aqua tealy which has got all of those acanthus leaves and the little strawberries on it as well look at the little it's like a monotone beautiful isn't it with the little strawberries that's used in the sort of the cross section I love this I mean you've got a lot of balance between light and dark here and this one is used in all the sort of background sections which makes the blues and the greens really pop out because that they've used this one but they they haven't used a plane so you could have put a plane in the background of there um, but they've used this one instead in fact if you get your kit and you want to save this bit use a bit of plane from your stash and keep this one you could use it for something else you can make some cushions that's the good thing about these kits is that because you've got the picture of the whole thing you can picture what goes where and you could think Do you know what i'm going to put calico in here and i'm going to keep this piece which makes it even better but it's lovely as i think it makes the quilt look beautiful it, using an actual print for the plainer background it just makes it look sumptuous it just um echoes the whole william morris vibe doesn't it of everything is beautiful and sumptuous and glorious so i think 129.99 for a six foot quilt is amazing value when you think it's william morris fabric it's free spirit fabric as well so you know it's beautiful quality uh, morning what a fab show have a great day from angie in lancashire oh thanks angie angie you have had a great day too. 10 minutes in, already howling with laughter and spending money. Have a great day from Jackie in East Sussex. Oh, that's nice. We're having a fun day today. Um, and spending money. What have you bought? What have you bought? Have you bought the kit? I love this. I know, I love this. Oh, also, if you want to put it on split pay, you can. 64.99, two equal payments. Interest-free if you're new to us. I know if you've watched before, you think she keeps saying that, but it's interest-free. It's a way of you spreading the payments without having to pay more because some people think oh actually uh, i can't afford the whole lot in one go but if you pay 64.99 now then um you get charged and then next month you get charged the other amount but you get it sent straight away and when you order on the website they ask you at that stage if you order on the phone they say do you want split pay so you can choose nobody cares you know you can say no i bought something yesterday from them i went no no it's all right i'll just go for it and thought, oh, maybe I should have gone split pay. Anyway, so this quilt, 129.99. It's fantastic, isn't it? Really, really good. Very, very impressed with it. I think it's a beautiful quilt. And we won't get these back. When it's gone, it'll be gone. But it's actually not too difficult. If you're used to rotary cutting, and then you understand the principles behind that, you know, well, basically using a ruler and a cutting mat, then it is fairly simple. 
make sure you follow it exactly. You, I mean, you've only got six fabrics. So when you cut each piece out, label them, and then you'll know what they're all for, because it tells you, like, so fabric A, cut four two and a half inch strips, then cut them into two and a half inch squares. If you label all of that with some post-its, or um, I usually pin a piece of paper onto the top of mine, all the fabric clips are quite good for that, then you'll know where it all is. So just get it all out, press it all first. I'd recommend spraying it with a bit of best press, because it gives it a much crisper finish, because a lot of the fabric you're going to be then cutting on the diagonal. Um, then cut it all out and then come back the next day and make it all it's beautiful beautiful kit oh good morning from everybody who's messaging me on facebook nicola i'd have to go over there to have a look oh morning nicola morning sharon oh what is the size of the box pouch have i got is it behind the quilt oh well there's two up here though See? There's two. Well, you get these pouches. They come in the same pattern, these two. So there's, there's a big one and then there's a small one. We will be talking about them in the next hour. This is gorgeous. It's a world launch as well. It's beautiful, isn't it? Um, what is the size of them? Well, there are two. Becky will be going through this for you. But just to give you a quick one, it is eight inches that way and it's five inches that way and then this baby one is five inches um across and three in two and a half inches high oh it says it all on that oh look at that so eight by six by five and a half is the large medium is eight by four by three and a half and the small is six by three by two and a half there you go that's the next hour though world la world launch of um the new velvets they are gorgeous as well right i've got another william morris quill if you fancy a different one but this one is extremely limited though so if you want this one then you will need to check out very quickly look at the picture on the box isn't that beautiful we are on single figures of this um 18 fabrics in this one 18 different fabrics in total you get um you get nine meters of fabric in total now 159.99 for that one now this one this one is bigger it's 180 by 225 so this really is king size but we're going to make them the same price oh yes i have it under here um this is even bigger so we're going to make this the same price but this is bigger over nine meters of fabric this is like king size look at this look at that it's massive isn't it it is so big can you see it? i mean we have got a picture we have got a picture of it yeah cat john oh we're taking off the set we're taking 10 pounds off i'm just gonna get um cat it's not the same price we're taking 10 pounds off right there we go look how beautiful is that again william morris 149.99 because this one is a lot bigger but they've both got the 10 pound saving absolutely gorgeous hard to choose really isn't it depends what size you want and whether you know the pattern i mean they're both in these lovely bluey gray shades I, lo I think this is gorgeous. Um, of the two, I would say this was probably a bit simpler. You've got a few flying geese here. That's probably the trickiest part. But you've got large square block piecing. So it's, it's not too bad at all. But that is beautiful. I love that one. So there's the box. Same saving, £10 off, £149.99 for that one. We are limited, very limited for this one. We are in single figures so if you want this one you do need to check out because when it's gone it's gone um should we have a little look have i got time to look inside <laughs> that wasn't a, a very graceful way of opening the box was it i thought it was just going to slide off like beautifully and it didn't <laughs> yes i think i might have to have a few little practices 
full instructions, obviously, and the instructions are always really good, as with the other quilt. But look at all the fabrics you get, loads of them in there. All the instructions tell you everything that you need to know to how to make it. And you get everything that you, ne you need. So um, this does include the binding on this one. You've got, you've got all the fabric for the front, you've got all the fabric for the um, binding. It's just the backing and the wadding that you would need to provide yourself. But look at it all. It is beautiful, isn't it? So what I love about these is that, you know, you're not getting extras that you don't need. There's always a little bit of wiggle room. You've usually got enough if you want to create a scrappy binding as well. Um, but you've got all of these small fabrics. So look at all these different ones. They're beautiful. They're very muted shades. They're very sort of um, pale neutrals, slate greys, beiges. You've got a little bit of dusty pink in there, pale green. I mean, this will really will fit in any decor. And again, you know, lovely on your sofa. Looks love, nice way to decorate it. Beautiful quilt to put on the wall. Obviously ideal for a bed, but it is gorgeous, isn't it? Look at all of these shades. They tone so well together. And I think then it will suit any, any decor. And I think this is the beauty of the William Morris prints is they're absolute classic designs. But in this neutral colour palette, they've sort of taken some of the prints and faded them down to make it softer. Lo love this one. Really look, oh, I'll lay that one out for that. Look at that one. Isn't that beautiful? It's just those shades of slate greys and pale greens that are lovely. There we go, I love it. Now this is a very dominant one in it. This, this um, fabric here, this really shows up in the quilt as quite one of the sort of the darker prints. This is what's used for the black background of the flying geese, which really makes them pop against all of the others. I think that's quite a clever use of the design that they've used all of these neutrals and then taken this stronger shade to make all the others stand up. And this is it's a massive piece of this one. This is one of the main um, square block ones this beautiful trailing acanthus design. So all of those fabrics you get in the kit, loads and loads of different prints, and you are getting in total nine, oh, it says in there, doesn't it? Um, I read it somewhere, it tells you how much you get in total. Oh, nine, nine meters. I've seen, I've seen it somewhere. No, it says it's somewhere over, I think, nine and a half metres in total. So you're getting a lot. In, and again, there is no plain fabric in here. They're not using anything for the background. This is all William Morris and it's free spirit William Morris. So it's designer quality printing and obviously designer fabric. So $149.99. Remember, that's on split pay. Now, we've done that as three equal payments. So $49.99, you pay that now. You pay another $49.99 next month and the final payment the month after. But you will get it sent straight away. So if you crack on, you'll have finished it before you paid for it. Even better. There we go. Beautiful quilt. So if you're loving the William Morris, but you don't want a whole quilt kit, this one, that one, that one. Right, so we've got some bundles here of William Morris, Morris fabric. Now these are very limited, so if you want them, you need to get them checked out. Half a metre of each, half a metre of each. Look at this one. This is, well, this is your classic. I love, look, Strawberry Thief. Strawberry Thief, beautiful um, print design. It's even got hair bells on it and then a lovely background. So you've got a metre and a half of fabric, three half metres, 21.37. Larkspur, Blackthorn and Strawberry Thief. Limited, very limited edition. Only two remaining, so quickly get them in your basket. Icy Winter Walks, that one's gone. Slow Gin, love this one. Let me show you these. Slow Gin, so you've got the Strawberry Thief with a lovely aubergine slow gin background. Larkspur with your slow gin background and Thames side. So don't they go together beautiful? So if you're making slow gin for people for Christmas, sold out. Nice for gift bags. <laughs> oh, 
that one. Yeah. Um, this one, again, half a metre of each, you've got the strawberry thief. Got these beautiful golden vines, and then you've got the blue vines in the, like a slaty, slaty bluey grey willow, that is. Oh, isn't that a beautiful palette? £17.97, metre and a half bundle. All those three William Morris fabrics, they're beautiful, aren't they? Um, use them all together in one project, just keep them for your stash. Make, um, make, if you've got the base from the early bird, go beautifully with that. Lovely gift bags. If you know, you know, instead of wrapping up someone's present, make them a little gift bag, put a gusset on it, handles, lovely. Then you just wrap your present, put in a little bit of tissue paper and pop it inside. Gorgeous for that. Loads and loads of different makes. Right, traditional Christmas. So again, in this one, this is very Christmassy, isn't it? You've got the strawberry thief, but he's in beautiful shades of reds and oranges. And then you've got this classic, it's a real Christmassy red. And the same print, but in a Christmassy green. So if you're thinking William Morris Christmas, and that you want to do something, now they're all William Morris print, £17.97 for a metre and a half. So you get three half metres and they are so Christmassy, aren't they? Yeah, it doesn't... This is like, this is your Christmas cushion set, isn't it? So if you think you're getting half metre, so that's two. If you're making um, 20 inch cushions with the seam allowance, 18 inch cushions, you've got the front and the back or use your plain fabric. So you've got, you could have two cushions from that one. You could have two from this, although wouldn't it be nice if you use one for the binding of the other, because they go so well together. So maybe you were making a red cushion. You could put um, a nice wide border with that one or bind it. Or if you're making something like maybe um, Christmas napkins, you can, less than 20 of these bundles left you can make two napkins from half a meter and then just do a binding around the edge in the green i mean that looks so expensive doesn't it and then you've got the strawberry thief as well which goes beautifully with it so again you know it would they would work as an edging work well as a lining all of those colors go together really nicely if you were making a cushion you could put a border with this and then bind it with the green absolutely lovely £17.97 for that one so that's the Christmassy bundle which are all the traditional Christmas colours but we've also got though we've also got a bundle um, where we've put a plane in for you please do keep checking out on this one £17.97 Oh, is this wider? Yeah, I thought that as well. This isn't your, the Strawberry Thief is the normal 44 inch width, but these are wider. William Morris print, but they must be, um, well, shall I mention, does it say on yours how much, what they were? But they look wider. Oh, 140 centimetres wide, I was gonna get them to take measure. Look at that, you've got absolutely loads. So this one here, this is your normal 44 inch width, but this, print although it's a William Morris print you are getting 140 centimeters so you get act actually more than that now we're down to single figures on this bundle so if you want it I mean or multi-buy you know if you're thinking we are on, if you want a couple of them if you're thinking yeah well that would be lovely to make some Christmas napkins or I'm going to make a few Christmas gift bags um, or just a bit from decorations from your home then when you think that you're getting two extra wide ones, 140 centimetre width. That's the red one and the green one of the extra wide. But then you're getting um, the strawberry thief, which is more your classic one. I think this one's 140 centimetre wide as well. Yeah, it is. So actually, they're all 140 centimetres. They're all 140 centimetres. Extra wide, £17.97. That's amazing. So they're all William Morris prints, but they are all wider than your normal. So you are getting a lot of fabric there. Yeah. And it's less than £20. That's strange. That's strange, isn't it? But they just... I think you should have... Yeah. 
Oh, well. Oh, well, it's Christmas, isn't it? Well, it will be. It's not Christmas, it's October. But it's all... Now, there's only five of these left now, but just think how lov lovely they are if you want to make... I think in a tote bag in that one. I think that in the Strawberry Thief one. And then I'd make my lining in the green and my handles in the red. But you've got so much there to play with. 1797 for three half metres and they are all 140 centimetres lines. I'll leave you with that one to carry on checking out. Right. Now, the next bundle, um, we've put a plane in this for you just so that we... It's quite nice, you know, so that you can have William Morris that goes together. Make it go a bit further. We've chosen a plane that goes with it. So the first one you get, obviously half a metre. Again, this is 140 centimetres wide. So it's extra wide. Let me lay it down so you can have a nice look at it. It's beautiful, isn't it? You've, it's a real proper William Morris Christmassy red. Not your sort of scarlet or your dark burgundy, but more of a cranberry red. And then you've got these beautiful leaf print all over it. That's gorgeous, isn't it? So that comes in your bundle. You also get the green one. I love this green. It's really, um, it's not your sort of your bluey green. It's a much brighter green, but it's sort of a really lovely Christmas green. Now that one, so those two are the extra wide. You've got the green one and the red one. And then we've put in natural seeded. So this is Rose and Hubble cotton fabric, 44 inch width. It's beautiful quality. And you're getting that for free. For free. So that one's for free. So 11.98, you're going to get two half meters that are 140 centimeter width of the William Morris and I love the natural seeded it's um, a cotton fabric but it has that calico look to it it's not a calico but it has those tiny little seeds in like a calico wood so look how much fabric you're getting so the the natural seeded is for free but you can see can't you how well it goes Look at it all. Look at all that fabric. So much there for £15. No, 11 Sorry, I couldn't see the screen. Sorry, 11 98 because the natural seeded is free and it goes really well. So what I love about doing things like this is this makes your bundle um, and your, your makes go so much further. You haven't got to think, oh, well, whatever, I'm, I'm going to make the lining for that. Use this one. And if you look at the background colour on this natural seed, it is the same as the background on here. So it blends beautifully together. And that one's for free. Nice offer. Right, quarter of the stock of this has gone. So that is an amazing bundle, isn't it? Half of the stock is gone, but look how well they go together. So whether you put the natural seed with the red or whether you put it with the green or you use all three, again, I'm thinking Christmas tableware. You know when you have the little um, gift bags for table presents, just make little drawstring bags with this. You look lovely. Now we have more people in... Um, who've got this in their basket than we've got available. So don't, don't hang up if you're on the phone lines. They're very, very busy. But if you hang on, then hopefully you will get it. But you do need to check out. Now, remember, there is only one PMP a day, 395. And you can check out as many times as you want. So don't sort of wait and think, oh, I'll check out so I save my PMP. Just check out and you can secure it. Anyway, congratulations to everyone who's managed to get that one. This one. Now, this is a nice bundle. Now, these are all 140 centimetre width, your extra wide, and we're giving you half a metre free. So I'm going to lay them out for you. You've got this print. The prints are all the same, and they're the same size, and all of the fabrics are all 140 centimetres. So we've got this lovely mustard, and then we've got this one with a very dark navy background. We've got the same print, with a pale blue background. This is all in the same bundle, 47.92, and you are saving 5.99. Got the lo that lovely green. Just think of the projects you can make with this. 
is beautiful, isn't it? I love this one. It's a real dusty pink, almost with a lilac tone. And don't forget, you get half a meter full free as well. I love the turquoise. If you like any of them individually, um, you only want one. If you have a look on the website, individually they are all available um, by the half metre. So if you think, I uh, love this aubergine background one, I want four metres of it, you can do that. But if you want the whole bundle and you want half a metre for free, then that's $47.92. You're saving $5.99 and you are getting all eight fabrics in there and they're all the same print just different colors so they go together really well because when you choose fabrics that have got the same print in them they just sort of mix and match but you know or you could just pick out a few you could think right well i'm going to do something with just the blues there we go have you come back from morrison's now i can hear them there that's not fair is it what did you get Oh, she got coffee and everything. Oh, that's nice. The card machine was down. So if you're in um, Redditch today, <laughs> the card machine's down in Morrison's and you can get them for free. Let's. So if you just run down there, let's hope they haven't fixed it yet. I love this. It's not fair, is it? They're, sitting there in there, they're chatting about cake and coffee. So look at those three together. Aren't they lovely? I mean, they all come in the same bundle, but if you want to sort of split them and use them by colour palettes, that's lovely, isn't it? Because actually, aren't those two nice together as well? Right. Right. Well, I'm going to show you the wool pressing mats. Now, we've got wool pressing mats in two different sizes. They are... Um, this one is 12 by 12 inches. And this one is 11 and a half by 16 and a half inches. These are an amazing price. And I'm going to show you in a minute that, how, what an amazing product they are. So the bigger one, 39.99. These are 100% wool as well. So if you, look, if you have a look at wool pressing mats, I've had mine for a couple of years, and this is the sort of price that you would expect to pay. This is what I paid. I think I actually paid a bit more than that because I got a big one like this. But we are going to reduce them for you. They are 100% wool, just so you know. $24.99, that's an amazing price. I paid over £40 for mine because I, I bought the bigger one like this because then there's, there's just more space. $24.99? Wow, is that a special for today? No, just a, just our price. 20, 20, that's amazing. So we're saving £15, 24.99. And that's for the large one. So 42 by 29.7 or um, 11 and a half by 16 and a half inches. So if you've not used one before, Oh, right, hang on, I'll show you the smaller one and then I'll show you what you do with them. So the smaller one is 12 by 12 inches. It just depends on the space that you've got. I mean, I would recommend you go for the larger one just because you can press bigger pieces. But it all depends on the space you've got and what you're doing. Now, normally the price for this one would be 39.99 because we've had to look round and we make sure that we've got a competitive price. So that's the price that it would, would be. But for this one, we're going to 19.99. That's an amazing price. You have a look around and shop around and you see that is a really good price, $19.99. So let me show you what you do. Now, um, they are, these both of them are exactly the same, do the same thing. They are 100% wool, but they're very compressed. So you can see, though it's almost like a very, very compressed felt. And they are absolutely fantastic for pressing. So I'm gonna get a piece of fabric. You know when you get fabric and it's all been folded, which is nice and it all comes beautifully folded. You know, especially things like pre-cuts where they've been folded for quite a while. So like this one here, one of these William Morrises, you can see it's got all of the creases in it. And sometimes those are, sometimes they are really difficult to get out. So the, there's two reasons why I use mine. This is one of them, is when I'm coming to get creases out. Now, the way a wool pressing mat works is because it's wool, it absorbs the heat. 
and it absorbs the steam. So it's almost like you've got two irons, you're pressing from both sides. So the steam from your iron, all the heat is going into the mat, it's being absorbed into there. So it's pushing it back up through, so you get a better press. So if it just comes to you wanting to um, press out some creases from fabric, really quick and really easy. That's fab brilliant. You get a really nice finish with that. But what I use it a lot for is when I'm piecing. So if you, you're doing seams and you need to press them to one side or you need to press them open, and particularly when you've got a lot of very small seams, if you use the wool pressing mat to press them, you will get a better finish. If you are hemming something and you want, you know, particularly maybe if it's a heavyweight fabric like maybe it's a denim fabric if you want to get a nice pressed creased edge because the um the heat and the steam is going into the mat and then it's coming back up you will get a better finish so you've got a really nice crisp edge and if i fold it over hi rebecca i bought the large one on a previous show makes pressing blocks so easy great value for money have a great day from allison and Leicester. oh thanks allison that's a great message because i found that as well i'd seen and demonstrated a lot and then i bought myself one and when i'm pressing blocks it's brilliant also because they're nice and thick they're really good for pinning things out so if you need to <coughs> if you're matching seams and you need to pin them together or if you're having to um stretch blocks out you can pin them into shape over there but you will get a much crisper finish now look at that hem when using these mats <clears throat> now obviously you they are they do absorb the heat they are not a replacement for your ironing board do you know what they're absolutely fine for a little quick press if you just you know got it by your board and you go with just a little quick press but if you're doing lots of pressing with this i put them on your ironing board because they will absorb the steam but after a while like with anything like with the iron board the steam will come through to the back so it's a bit is similar to if you've got a tailor's clapper that when you um steam it you put you you put the clapper on top and it absorbs the heat back inside so it sets the seam so i would suggest always use it on your ironing board and you might get a bit of a dampness underneath but don't forget we have two sizes so the larger size is 24.99 which is a great size because obviously with this size you can then um press bigger pieces but it just depends on the working space you've you've got but you will get whether you're using steam or not it's the fact that the heat is absorbed the other really good thing for it is you know when you're doing fpp and you have got loads of seams in there and you're trying to press them over or when you've removed the papers and you want to press them open and there's lots of tiny seams where you need to get and you spray and spray but you still can't get that crisp finish then get yourself a cutting mat so even if i press over this and i've made a nice hem there and then i press it over again you are getting a much crisper more permanent crease than you would if you just pressed it look at that without the mat underneath you can use you can use it just as a very quick ironing board but when i then come to press them out i would give that a little bit of steam so i always use this when i'm um particularly when i'm doing blocks but it's to get rid of those stubborn creases as well and when you get fat quarters that are pre-cut it's really really hard to get those creases out so before i cut any of my fabric i spray them all with best press which is a um not a proper starch but it's a synthetic one and that gives it a crispness and then i pop them on my um, wool pressing mat get rid of all the creases but it's really brilliant for blocks when you've either pressing seams open or to one side and because you can um pin into it So if you, you know, when you're doing your quilt and you're doing your little blocks, if you want to pin them out, because sometimes when you're doing blocks, this is what I do when I'm, um, maybe if I'm sewing two pieces together. So say I'm sewing two 12 inch pieces together and I've done a block and I'm sewing it to a border. Now the seams on the block maybe have got a bit, have re have reduced a bit so maybe you you've got a block and you're putting some sashing on now because you've got say 10 12 seams in your block it pulls it together you know it's 12 inches because it pulls it together so i pin it one side and the pin will go in and then if you pin it at the other end 
doesn't damage it at all. You can then pull it very slightly so that it matches up, pop a pin in the middle, then you know it all matches up beautifully and then you can pin it together. But that is just, that's what I use this for because then what you can do if you find that the one piece is slightly bigger than the other and it isn't it's just because of the seams have pulled it in once you've done that and it's on its mat you can give it a press you know it all matches up beautifully and then you can take your pins out and pin it together along the line so if you've ever found that when you're sewing blocks to sashing strips that it pulls in and you can't get a nice neat fin pin it to the pressing mat then give it a press and then pin it together and you will find it matches up beautifully so that's how I, what I use it for. They are fabulous, absolutely fabulous. So the bigger one is twenty four ninety nine, which should be thirty nine ninety nine. Now, when I bought mine, I mean, I did think I'd seen it demonstrated a lot and thought, oh, I'm really going to need that. But I was doing some blocks and getting so frustrated that I couldn't get the seams to press open when you've only got a quarter of an inch seam allowance and you've got a lot of them it's not the easiest thing and I bought my pressing mat and I just keep it um, propped up against the wall down on the floor by my board I don't even keep it flat um, and you can use it for quick pressing as I said but beside your iron um, beside your sewing machine but don't do too just be careful what's underneath because eventually I mean that isn't warm but I haven't done too much eventually the heat will come through so it's quite a good thing to keep on your ironing board but you will really notice the difference it's one of the best is it a gadget I always think of a gadget as electronic it's one of the best pieces of equipment that I've got it's really really useful so that's the larger size 24.99 and then the smaller size yes stock update right really really busy on the larger one so if you want it if you've got that in your basket you need to get checked out because at that price 24.99 i know that i paid over 40 pounds for mine that's a fantastic price it is a hundred percent wool as well so this isn't like an imitation one or you know lower quality than other other ones you've seen it really is a hundred percent um wool it is really useful um so 24.99 really really busy please do check out on that but if you want the smaller one if you just think well i've only got a small sp space i've never given a go you know, $19.99. Hmm. It is smaller, $19.99. So it's entirely up to you. And then the big, so there's the look, there's the size difference. But you know, depends what you, it depends which one you want. But I think for value for money, that you're getting more value for money from the bigger one, actually. So if I put the two together, these are so busy. Look, there's the big one. There's the small one. Now you can see what they look like. So the big one is obviously, you know, for value, f for the value for money, because you're only paying a fiver for that extra bit. And it does, that's the size that I bought. And there are different brands of these, but I've tried this one out. They're absolutely fine. It is 100% wool and they do work really, really well. And um, I think it's the fact that you can pin into them because I find, I mean, I pin into my ironing board all the time, but sometimes I hit those sort of metal bits that go across and the pin won't go through, which is quite annoying. But with this, you can pin into the whole thing. Also, if you've got a block that you've made that's a little bit misshapen, because when you've done a lot of seams, particularly if it's an FPP block, it goes out. Spray the whole thing with best press or water, but just a light spraying of water, then pin it to shape. Now, because you've got straight lines on here, you can measure across so you've got an exact square. Pin it in each corner and then pin the block all the way around. And then you don't, you can just give it a quick press, not very sort of almost like a light steam all over like this because you've pulled it to shape. Leave it on here. And the great thing is, is that you're not letting um, using up your ironing board space, leave it on there until it dries and your block will be beautiful. Not often do you have to block a block, it's what we do in crochet and knitting, but with um, sewing, particularly if you use a lot of seams, then you do need to. So $24.99, it is really, really good. Um, it is so, we have got so many people who've got this in your basket, you need to check out. And it's really busy on the phone lines, we've got so many of you with it. The customer service team are, will get to you. They are so good. I phoned them three times yesterday. They're amazing. They're really good. So I'm going to show you again, because I know there's a few of you who've asked what you do and how it works. I would, you don't, you know, 
you don't have to use steam with it so if you've got a fabric that you don't want to so maybe you've got a really lightweight cotton fabric that you don't want lots of heat and you don't want lots of steam you don't need to and that's the beauty is that you can use the lower heat setting but because the mat will pull the heat in you only need to give it a very light press and you will get that lovely finish so maybe you're using like a lawn or a viscose and you're hemming it and you just want a very nice crisp hem do it on here you can use that lower heat but because you've got the heat radiating back up again it works really well there we go look at that that's a beautiful finish isn't it so we've i mean these are obviously so popular so we've only started selling these for 10 minutes and we've sold 80 already and that's not counting all the ones that we've got in the baskets and phone lines because it is a it really is a great product i wouldn't be without mine and sometimes I'm, I'm ironing something, I'm thinking, I can't get these creases out. And I think, why? Oh, yes, my pressing mat. Mm. And then I put it on my ironing board and, then, and it just changes everything. But try it with different things. If you've tried it with lighter weight fabrics, because I've done it with, um, oh, well, I was doing it with some viscose the other day that just had, a, it was a skirt I was making with a really narrow hem. And I thought, well, I wonder whether it'll work or whether it's only really for cotton. It was absolutely brilliant. But you've got that really nice finish. But remember, on the larger one, we have reduced the price by £15. So this is £24.99. Amazing price. Message. I agree with you. I use my wool mat all the time and it makes a huge difference to all my makes. I two pin items to it. What a fantastic price from Tracy Lincolnshire. That's a great message. Thanks, Tracy. That's really helpful because it is what I like as well is the fact is that I can pin things to it, but I can move them so they're not stuck to my ironing board. Actually, to be honest, I've used them for blocking crochet and knitting as well because otherwise I'm, I think, go, no, no one could use the ironing board. I'm afraid for another 24 hours because this is drying or whatever. But it is really, really useful for that. And I do, I do a lot of... Um, quilts where I am putting sashing on or the strip doesn't fit exactly and and sometimes you can get away you can make things a bit bigger than they should be but it does make quite a difference so remember um, if you if you're new to sewing street there's only one pmp a day it's 395 now the way that it works is that you put something in your basket but you need to check out once you checked out then it's yours your pmp is applied but your basket doesn't actually close till midnight. So if you add something else in, that's fine. Because I know a lot of us are used to other websites where you, you buy a top and you think, oh, that's full 99 pmp. Okay, I better put some trousers in. And, um, and you think you've got to do it all in one go. We are not like that. You can put something in now. And at three o'clock this afternoon, you can come back and go, actually, I really need some interfacing. I'll have a look on the website if they've got it. And so that's easy. Then you just pay that one 3.95. So don't leave it in your basket. You, you can shop online with us, sewingstreet.com, and it's really easy to, to shop online with us. So it's www.sewingstreet.com. It's really easy. If you want to buy any of the products I'm talking about now, click on Watch Live, and there's two columns. Oh, sorry, they'll either be up at the top, which is the projects that we're cut. So the one that I'm currently talking about, which is this larger pressing mat, $24.99, Anything we've already talked about is on today's show deals, which is which is the left. If it's gone, it says sold out. So you know immediately. You're not trying to buy something that you can see immediately. Coming up on today's show, those are the items that will be coming up, but I haven't talked about yet. But it's a way of you getting ahead so that you don't miss out. So if you think, I really would love some of that world exclusive velvet but I'm about to pop out, I need to walk the dog. Don't worry, you can get ahead and buy it. Um, and also talking about pre-order, if we scroll down a bit, um, the bags, bags are on pre-order because we had so many of you asking about these. But also you can buy them if you phone up as well, but they are going really fast. So if you want one of the bags, I'll be on at 10 o'clock with them. Um, so, $24.99 for the World Pressing Mat. You are saving £15, which is loads. 
24.99 honestly if you do lots of, so it doesn't matter whether you're doing patchwork whether you do um dressmaking whether you do home sewing ooh, there i am then you will find it an absolute bonus 24.99 for the larger pressing mat which measures 11 and a half by 16 and a half right do keep checking out on that we're gonna have to go to break please do keep checking out on that um, Becky will be back with me in three minutes time we've got the world exclusive launch of the brand new velvet fabrics and we've also got some pattern packs as well and Becky's going to be showing us what you can do with them and how to use them so don't go anywhere I'll see you back here in a few minutes time stuck for ideas for the perfect gift why not get them a gift card you can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again.
Tone Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. of Sewing Street, why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Terrible sound. Welcome back to Sewing Street and we have got a world launch, world launch of the new velvet fabric, um, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous from Crafters Companion, we've got Becky with us, so I'm just going to go through the products first so that we get, you can see what we've got and then we'll go over to, to Becky, so we, we've got a bundle first, now this is your best saving is to get the bundle, so in the bundle you get the four velvets, now they are gorgeous, 100% polyester. Each piece is 50 by 160 centimeters. So they're a really nice size, should we have a look? So you can see how much you get. Becky's gonna um, talk us through the velvets. So there's the red, that's what the size is. It's a half a meter depth and then the width is 160 centimeters so you're getting a lot of velvet there it is super super soft it's beautiful and as you can see it doesn't it's not like a fray velvet so you get the red but that's what each way they'll all look like like that you get the teal isn't that beautiful color same color as my dress actually matches that would look nice i love that for a little cardi beautiful teal then you get pink look at this well it's magenta it's bright pink that's Gorgeous. Well, no one's had these before because they're brand, 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 brand new to us. The world, actually. They will be released around the rest of the world, but we've got them first. Gorgeous. And you're also getting half a metre of black. So we do, we will have a bundle with just those, but this special bundle also includes um, the, instru the instructions for the box pouches. There's no, these aren't anything that you need the die cutter for. These are templates in here where you use to cut the fabric and then the instructions are in there. And you can make three box pouches that look like this. This is one that's made in the magenta. You make three box pouches from this pattern. Look at that. There's another one in there. I can't remember if I put them all in there. No. No, the baby no. one's not in there. No, the biggest but one. there's three different sizes. That's the biggest uh, one. That's the biggest one. Yeah. So this is what it looks like in teal. So on the pattern, you get the large size, you get the medium, and you get the small size. Now, you think if you go into with some of these designer stores, Oliver Bone, as other shops are available, John Lewis, Marks and & Spencers, and you, may, and you bought them in velvet. Now, the great thing is... Have I got around the wrong way? It's upside down. The great thing is, is that if you use the velvet for the outside, it looks really sumptuous. Then use a nice fabric from you've got from your stash. We've all got beautiful designer fabrics, lovely things that we could put in the lining. Never sure what to do with them. Use one of those for the lining. But it's not just that one. That's one of them. So remember, there's three sizes of bag. You are also getting 
the pouches template and that's what Becky's going to be demoing. So the pouches, really clever. Again, this has got different sizes. These are fab, aren't they? These are brilliant for makeup. So it's drawstring. Do you want to do it all? These are really good for um, makeup, brushes, jewellery. Um, also, you often see like um, like at wedding little flower girls holding them, but really good for keeping all of your little items in. I think I've managed to get myself all knotted up with this one. And then, once you've done it, you open it up. You have to unknot it, obviously. Let me use a smaller one to show you. And I've got all my strings knotted up. Um, so once you've made them, you open it up. Then you keep everything in here. So maybe you're going away for the weekend. You want to pop all your makeup inside. You put, you get there, you open it all out. You can see it all. It's all there to hand. And then you just very quickly pull up the strings, put the popper over, and there we go. And you could use a pop button and then you can put all the strings inside. So this pattern has got all of the templates for make these. There are nine different sizes. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. No, there's a table there, nine different sizes. So, so the biggest size, does it say the finish the size? The biggest size I can wear is a hat. Oh, well, it's that big, you can wear <laughs> the biggest size as a hat. So what is the size, um, oh, finish size, the largest size is 30 by 30 centimetres and the smallest size is seven by seven. So, and then there's one more pattern. This is to um, make the brush roll. Now all of these, can be made using the velvet fabric. So let me show you what the brush roll looks for. So this has got um, cotton fabric, but it's also got the velvet. So you've got all the roll there. You can put all your makeup brushes in there, or you can put pens and pencils. Um, you've got your zip case section there, and then the whole thing rolls up and folds up like that. So, and that's different size well. So you're getting the three templates for the three different sorts of bags. And within that, there are different size variations. You get the four velvets. Remember, the, each piece of velvet is 50 by 160 centimetres. Teal, red, um, black and red. Pink. And the graphics say special price. So we're going to reduce that. Because this is a special price. Special price has to be low. 55.95 for four half meters of velvet and the three patterns so if you've already checked out don't worry you will only be charged that lower price that's an amazing price isn't it 55.95 you're making 50, blah, 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 over 13 pounds saving you're getting three pattern templates four half meters of brand new velvet fabric i mean and it is gorgeous but it's not really three, you're getting all the size variations. I'm thinking, you know, you think you've got um, a few Christmas presents to make and you know, oh, I don't know what to buy or I was thinking about getting them a bit of jewellery. Make them one of these um, sewing pouches to put them, one of the um, drawstring pouches to put them in. I mean, that is gorgeous, particularly in the velvet. It's just so sumptuous. But again, use up your stash, use something pretty for the lining because you're going to see it. You don't have to use velvet for the outside. I mean, obviously it looks gorgeous. But they, you could use the tiny one for little table gifts for Christmas, maybe top table at a wedding, all, all of that. You can keep all sorts of things in. And depending on what fabric you use, you could use a waterproof fabric for the outside. You could use um, a waterproof lining. You could use it for the bathroom things. The template and the instructions are there for to use again and again and again. Um, the tutorial today that Becky's going to do is going to be showing us how to make these beautiful drawstring pouches. But when you get the templates, you'll see um, they also all have video support. Oh, there we go. See, there's a little video there. Tells you there that when you've got your pattern, it will show you exactly how to do this step by step. So if you're a beginner or you're quite new to sewing or you, you, know, you think, oh, I don't know, can I manage that? You've got video help. And all the patterns are in here. We'll have a look through the packs in a minute. Uh, you don't, I mean, you don't have to use velvet. If you are really new to sewing and you think, oh, I don't want to waste the velvet, get the pack, use some plain fabric from your stash, have a go, make a little pouch or boxed, or the box one or the um, the jewellery pouch, make a little one and then you can use this beautiful velvet. I mean, it is gorgeous, it really is gorgeous. It doesn't fray. It's got like, almost like a jersey back, but it's not stretchy, but it is so soft 
absolutely perfect for things like that. And you know, when you go into a lot of these designer stores, you see it all made in um, velvet. Often you'll see embroidered um, initials on top of them as well, and that looks amazing. And the pile is, isn't too thick that you would be able to embroider on top of. So that's that bundle. Now, maybe you've got your own projects, you don't need the patterns, you just want to buy the velvet. So we are doing a special bundle you can buy them separately, they're on the website, but you won't get the savings. So if you think, oh, I only want the red one, that's fine. But if you want to get the saving and you want all four of them, this, this is four half metres. Now the full price should be 39 pounds and 96 pence. But we're gonna give you a special price today of 32.99. So four half meters this is extra wide it's 160 centimeters wide of this beautiful quality velvet and this is world exclusive launch you cannot get this anywhere else maybe you're thinking i want to make some velvet cushions how lovely would that be because they are beautiful i mean i've seen um little drawstring backpacks in velvet gorgeous with ears if you do have the black one. <laughs> nice, I like that I've idea. Seen yeah. like a, I've seen them like a little cat and then on the top of the back pot they put little ears, but gorgeous. Or a scarf, maybe scrunchies, or maybe you want to make a, a scarf or um, all of those, all of those things. I mean, that's half of it. It's beautiful, isn't it? But there is so much you can do with it. Even um, you can use it for patchwork as well because it does sew together beautifully and it looks really sumptuous. And aren't those colours lovely? Lovely thing to have in your stash. So when you've got to make a quick gift, even if it's just something like a little tote bag, it just looks such quality in this. Use your designer fabric stash to go with it. This is the world launch of this. So you get in here um, the red, half a metre of the red, Half a metre of the black, half a metre of the teal. Love this colour. It does look how much the same colour as my dress. You can't see it now. And half a metre of magenta. <laughs> half a metre of magenta. Thirty-two ninety-nine. Now half of the stock is already gone. So if you want the stock, you want it, you need to get that in your basket. Um, if you just want the templates, we do have those on our own. And if you get all three of them together, we've got another little special offer. So if you want all three together, remember you're getting the three sizes of pouch. You are getting the nine sizes, nine sizes of drawstring bag. So it will fit anything you need. You can measure your gift, work out which one you want to do. And then we've also got the um, jewellery pouch as well. Brush roll, brush roll. $24.99, a special price. Should be $29.97, you're saving a fiver. So if you get all three together, I mean, these are gonna last you. These patterns are here, they will last you. You can use them time and time again. Think about velvets, cottons, waterproof fabrics, PUs, even good for denims. So you can make them for all members of the family. $24.99 for all three patterns. That's a special offer today only, if you want them. Right, good morning, Becky. Hello. Been through everything. <laughs> so tell me about this amazing velvet I then. Know. I know. Do you know, I've just been sitting here just stroking it because it is, it's so beautiful. It is so it's, soft, It's really nice it? to use. And um, these are going to make some really great, like you say, Christmas gifts. Uh, that's yeah. what I was thinking. Um, down to, this is the tiniest one. Oh, okay. So if you're going to be planning on buying a little bit of jewellery for somebody, this would be a great gift. And I also like the idea, like you said, about um, little gifts for tables um, yeah. for a wedding. Now, actually, when I got married, we had drawstring bags mm. uh, made out of silk. Um, for because we had a chi I'm, I'm Chinese I'm, I'm quarter Chinese we had a Chinese okay. themed wedding so we had these with fortune cookies in oh, okay. so there's, there's something else that you could you could possibly do but to be able to make one that size and one that size from the same that's pattern amazing, is it? really good and absolutely these are going to be key for um, your your toiletries mm. because you can open them all out yeah and it's exactly lovely what you've got rather to than you them. like I was getting my makeup out today I was fiddling I couldn't find what I needed right at yeah. the bottom of it and it's always the way isn't it's it? always, it's always the, the way, way. Thing. But also for, for your crafty things, so this one we've just filled up with spools of thread and um, that you've got here. So you can see you've got all the spools of thread that you oh, might need. So in really there. good for your craft storage. Yeah. Knitting, 
Put your knitting in there. Perfect. Get crochet. Um, yeah, oh, absolutely. You're going to be idea. able to get, you get to use these for all sorts of different things. And they're really simple to do. So if you're going to start off, the first one I would go for is the, the drawstring pouches. That would be my first, right, my so first that's, activity that'd to do. Be you've easier. never sewn before. Okay. Because that would be the easiest one to do. But I'll show you what you've got inside each of these packs. Um, so we've given, um, the, on the back, we've given you the details about the kind of things that you're going to need. Uh, for example, how much of the fabric you're going to be needing whether you're going to need a zip um, whether you're going to need any interfacing or all those sorts of things now with the samples that we've made here using that velvet we haven't used any interfacing in here um, we have for the more sort of structured ones like the box pouches but for these ones literally it's just your lining fabric and your velvet you don't need anything else because you want that kind of squishy um, squishiness to them rather than being like a structured bag so that's one of the reasons I said that actually if you're going to start off these would be the key ones that I would start off by sewing um, so in each of these if we open this up um, they'll all be a similar kind of situation oh only the plastic templates yeah big, nice. big templates are going to last and last um, but you'll you'll see we've tried to make them as simple as possible now we do try and do this wherever we can that we actually write on the top of the um, of the template exactly what you're getting so if you lose anything you can still work out what you've got so it will show you the grain line for the fabric it will show you how many of everything you need to cut out whether you need to cut them out of wadding whether you need to cut them out of backing fabric lining fabric or whatever and we've given you all of that and then we've given you step-by-step -step instructions in here um, so as you said we've given you um, instructions and also videos as well so you use these um, together so you can see here um, where we've got for example the back panel we've, we've highlighted that all in red to make it really really simple for you to sh see what you would need to cut out so the back panel for example actually encompasses this whole side of this piece of um, template and it will show you how many of everything to cut out now the way I would do it is I would cut everything out in one go I put them all to one side um, and, and if I'm going to be making multiples I always cut two at the same time just because it saves a little bit of time and then we've given you step-by-step -step instructions as, as to how to put it together and last week I think it was week before last I did the videos so the videos are available so you can watch step-by-step okay. -step how we actually put them together if you have any problems you can contact customer services you can contact me through Facebook if you're like ah, I'm working on this and I've got a bit confused and I'll help you out so you know we've given you as much help as you can but actually these are really really simple to do so each one of these looks the same so that one is the brush roll and the one I'm going to be doing today is the um, drawstring pouch here and this is the one that I was saying actually if you're going to start off and you've never sewn before um, or you're a little bit you know you're a bit wary about what to do this would be the first one that I would choose to do now on the back of here you can see we've got all the different sizes here so nine different sizes going from that tiny little one um, that's great for sort of a little bit of jewelry up to the bigger one that you can fit all your toilet in and we've given you the instructions as to what you need here like binding strips and um, go around the edge to create that drawstring and the cord length are all on the back here so you don't even have to open the package and um, before you go and do your little bit of shopping you can see exactly what you're going to be getting now um, all of these look like this so you've got just one piece um, on this um, one piece of plastic um, to create this template now the, you've got these sort of curves here and then you've also got these tabs and that is all you need to have you just need to have this main body of the bag these circular pieces the tabs and you just need some binding strips to go around the outside and um, so it makes it really really simple and easy for you to put together now when I've already cut out my pieces of fabric but I will show you how I've done that so I've cut out my piece of lining fabric first of all and what you would do is you would just fold it into quarters so you just get a square of fabric and you fold it into quarters and where you've got those those fold lines that's where you pop your pattern or template over the top along those fold lines and then you just use your heat erasable pen to go through those those little holes here and then then cut that through and then obviously you can see all of those different sizes down here so you just need your heat erasable pen down here to change all of those different sizes we've got the heat erasable pens here pack of three 5.99 these are fantastic, really, really good price. You get a red one, a black one, and a blue one. Um, you can draw onto fabric, and then you just run an iron over it, and the marks disappear. Always test it first, but 
pretty much with cotton fabric it, it won't mark but you should always test them first but ideal for these patterns so these are crafters companions ones three no 5.99 for three a red a black and a blue so pop one in your basket because they are brilliant for marking aren't they they're absolutely they're, mm. they're absolutely a gold mine aren't they yeah. because mm. whereas before you use a bit of tailor's chalk and you drop your tailor's chalk on the floor and you know and it's messy mm. they're brilliant absolutely brilliant don't use them to write a check and then put the check on the radiator <laughs> because it doesn't work um so i've already cut out my piece of fabric in my velvet um, here and i've also got my lining piece so i'm just going to put those two pieces to one side and then I've used um, here, so I use size 7 to create my drawstring and so I want to use size 7 to create my little tabs. So I've already cut two of those out of my uh, lining fabric here um, and somewhere, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch around the outside. I'm going to leave a little bit of a turning gap here and I'm going to turn that through to create that little tab. Um, I've also cut my binding strip, so on the front of the um, the details here it will show you um oh that's not where it was just here it will show you how big you want your binding strips how long you want them um, and then i've just given them a bit of an iron so i've ironed them over the top um here just to fold it over right round about half an inch i suppose and then i've ironed it to put it in half here and i'm going to attach that to my lining once i get that all sorted out i've also cut out my cord here which is going to run through the base of that bag so i'm going to start putting it together um, and this is why i sort of said actually this is the, the the key one for you know if you've never sewn before um because it is so easy and it doesn't need a huge amount of work so i'm going to stitch around the outside here so I've got right sides together using a quarter of an inch seam allowance <laughs> not like that oh, cool. I'll change the fit on there mm -hmm. okay yeah so don't forget just while Becky's doing that in this bundle amazing price bundle you get half a meter of the red velvet this is the world launch you can't get this anywhere else and this is the most beautiful velvet fabric it's been developed exactly perfectly for sewing and good great for sew homewares um, you get half a meter of black you get half a meter of teal each of these is 50 by 160 centimeters and you get half a meter magenta you also get three patterns so you get the pattern for the drawstring pouch remember there were nine different sizes in this pattern I mean it's just amazing amazing value you get these pouches three pouches in there you will make so many times and because the um, the patterns are acrylic as well, then they're brilliant, they're plastic, so that you, they're not gonna get torn or broken. You can use them time and time and time again. This is, use up your fabric stash, isn't it? Lovely brush roll. You can use this for pencils as well, pens, brushes. Um, just brilliant, and don't forget, you've got the video support. So obviously you can watch Becky's demo for the drawstring pouch, but if you've got the others, it's like having, mar you've got a masterclass, so you've got three masterclasses, and you've got four half metres of fabric for 55 95 Absolute bargain. So, the annoying thing for me is mm. actually I've just bought, well, about six months ago, I bought a drawstring toiletry bag. Oh, did you? And I bought one that's uh, like a box bag as well. So and I'm you could quite, have made your own. I, I, if, I, if only I'd known that yeah. these were coming out, uh -huh. I could have made my own. But I, um, it was because I were, I'd watched something on Instagram and they were saying how those drawstring bags are like absolutely key because you can see everything mm. you've got. You've got no rummaging um, in there. It's just nice and easy to see what you've got. And particularly when you're traveling, and obviously I travel quite a lot, um, and you know, it's inevitable that I need to find where all my toiletries have gone. And they make a per perfect sense to have um, something like that. They really are well worth um, having. But they're great because you can either open them out flat or you can have them keep them like that if you want to keep things in them. I've seen them use, I've seen people use them for um, toys as well. Really good for keeping toys. Yeah, I or think, like you say, Lego. Mm, yeah, yeah, brilliant. It's been really good for travelling and for holiday. But you know, even if you had them in the bathroom and you just kept a few things in them, then you could put a waterproof lining inside. But they are brilliant. Put your swimming costume after the gym in it. If you had a bit of rip stop, let me show you a different size. Because remember, there are nine different sizes in them. So you have this snap over top here. 
And once people see these, they've got, everyone's going to want one, aren't they? But I just love the way that you can choose all you know different fabrics depending on what you've got and how much. And it says in the instructions exactly what size piece you need. So you can have a look through your stash and see what you've got. So you will be using this pattern time and time again. And in the bundle, you'll get this, two other patterns and four half metres of velvet. Laughing. So where are we, Becky? I'm looking for my... Where do they go? Where do your pins go? There they are. I've just found them. Uh, after trashing the place. So what I'm going to do now is I've got my lining fabric. So I've already um, stitched around the outside of that little tab here. Um, and I just need to fold that over to finish that little gap where I've turned it over. Um, and then I will stitch around the outside, which I've done here. And I've put a snap fastener here. Now, if you don't have a snap fastener, you could always, always make um, a little buttonhole and, and put a little button on there. But I've got a little snap fastener, so I've just put that on there. Um, so that's that that's ready to go on the outside of my bag. Now what I want to do now is I want to do the inside of my bag. So I'm taking my lining fabric and I've got this binding. So I folded that over here and I'm just going to pin that around the edge and then I'm going to stitch it. And I'm going to do the same with the other piece of binding fabric. So we're just going around. What we're going to do is we're going to create a little bit of a channel to run that um, cord through. Um, now what we also want to make sure we do is leave a little gap. So when I put my next piece of um, binding fabric, this channel, I want to leave a small gap, something like that in between. And um, so we'll just do the first half, first of all, and then I'll put the next half attached to it. And then I could just, if I've made this a little bit too big, I could just trim that off. But one little gap like this. So I'm just gonna go around and pin, and then I'm going to stitch. So I'm just gonna pin a few times um, Morning here. to you both. The drawstring bags would make lovely Christmas gift bags that could be used afterwards. I mean, that's the great thing. Oh, thank you for that message, Susan. It's a really great thing about Christmas gift bags, isn't it? Is that that you put it, you, you put your item in there, and then they get like two gifts for the price of one. It also means, I think, that you don't then have to spend quite so much on the gift because it looks so impressive that you've made a beautiful bag to go in it. That's absolutely right. I remember there being an article by Jane Asher. Do you remember Jane Asher? I do remember her, and Kate. And she had a Christmas, um, a Christmas book, and she said a beautifully wrapped gift can be something as simple as just a box of chocolates, but if it's beautifully wrapped, everyone assumes that you've spent loads more yeah, money exactly. on it. Yeah, exactly. And if it's beautifully wrapped in a drawstring bag, and then they get to keep it. I mean, I, yeah. for a long time, have always have given gifts in a bag to do with it. So if I give somebody um, some books for Christmas, I'll always make a tote bag and put them in. And they're really, you know, they're really simple to make. And then they've got the tote bag afterwards. Or if you buy somebody a kit, make a little bag to put the kit in. But you don't just get these bags in this bundle. You get the, um, cause I love these. Cause look, you get this one and look at this bag. I love this. So, I mean, I, I've made, I have made ones like this. I've made one with inner tubes. I've made them with denim. You can make them as wash bags, Sorry, put waterproof in. Yes. So, really? well, you know, we all know my husband cycles and I know loads of people cycle. Yeah. So I make bags like this from inner tubes and they love them as wash bags. That's a great My husband's idea. got one that he uses for all of his chargers at work and, yeah. he, and he keeps his bike toolkit in it. So I, that's my, one of my main things about buying my new machines that needed to be able to sew inner tubes. But you sew them flat and then you can make a piece of fabric from them. And then from there you can make things. And every time I make one, goes, oh, can I have one? I've made lots of <laughs> inner tube bags. But um, lovely in velvet, but great wash bag. But what a nice present. So if you're thinking like a Christmas, oh, well, I don't know what to buy somebody. Um, you know, just buy them a few toiletries, pop them in one of these bags. The template for three different size bags comes in that. But, um, you know, maybe you know somebody who's um, having a baby or, you know, someone who's new home. You could put a few little items in there. Um, somebody going off on their travels. Even if, I always think, you know, even if you're buying somebody a gift voucher for Christmas, why not make them the little pouch, pop the gift voucher inside. They've got the pouch afterwards and then they get the little present as well. But when sometimes when you wrap up a gift voucher, you think, oh, well, it's, what do you do? But you know, all those like, take, you know, when you've got like tween ages or teenagers and you just don't know what to give them, a couple of nail varnishes, tween, oh, I've had some of those. Or boys as well, make one from old denim jeans and put a couple of deodorants in there. 
They always need deodorants, uh, don't they? They do. And I have made, <laughs> both of my sons have got um, these style what, bags yeah. made from different things. They love them. Well, so I mean, in the bundle, you get the pattern for three sizes. So I've showed you the small, the medium and the large. You are getting um, the drawstring pouch, nine sizes. And you are getting the brush roll. Yes, let me just, I'll take one of Becky's. Um, go for that one. Right. So inside, remember the template that you're getting is, so this is the drawstring pouch, is a plastic template. You don't cut it out, you place this on your fabric and then the, you, can you see that it's got the little grooves so that you draw on it using a, a heat erasable pen. I mean, you can use a pencil, but the pens work are easier. And it's got all the different sizes, so you use it time and time again. And also, particularly with this pouch, it's more accurate because you're folding the fabric in four and then you're just cutting and drawing this bit. So you know it's going to be perfectly symmetrical because often if you draw a whole circle, it isn't perfectly symmetrical. The templates come in there. This is the template for the brush roll. Everything you need is on there and the instructions as well. So you can buy the te you can buy these template patterns in two ways, either with the bundle that I've got there. John, never ever. How many years have I been doing this? There. 55.95 should be 69.92 69.93, but it isn't 55.95. So you can buy them in that way by having the three templates with the three pieces of four pieces of velvet, or you. All right, so that's them all together. So the four half meters of velvet, because then you you know when you get these at home and the parcel arrives, you will have immediately so the fabric to start making with. But if you just want to use your stash and you just want to buy the templates on your own, we've got a special offer on those as well. So we bundled them all together so you get one of each. Saving a fiver should be $29.97, $24.99. And you can get all, all of them together. You'll save a fiver. Now they are available separately. So if you're thinking I only want one pattern, that's absolutely fine. They're on the website. You can get them there. But if you want to make the saving, you want to make drawstring, um, the circular drawstring bag, you want to make the pouches, you want to make the brush roll, you will save a fiver. But have a look on the website. They are available separately as well. OK, so what I've done now is I've just stitched that little tab um, onto the velvet. So I've already stitched around the outside. This is that little channel that we've got around here, around the lining fabric. And then here, I've got my little popper. Oh, that's just come undone. I just have to. So I haven't brought my, um, I haven't brought the hammer in. But that would be my little popper that would just be here. Um, but you can either you can don't have to use a popper. You could just put a little um, buttonhole up here and then a secure a button here. Or some Velcro. Um, yeah, Velcro. Yeah, uh, that would be or nice and easy. Or just sewn on one. Yeah, there's all sorts of things you can do. So what I'm going to do is I've now sewn that onto the top here. So when we come to actually use the drawstring, that will then clip over the top like so. Um, but we'll just we'll, we'll pretend we'll pretend I put the whole thing together and it hasn't come apart. Um, <laughs> no one needs to know. We'll just be shh. And um, so what I want to do it doesn't really matter where we're going to put this tab but actually I found having these little drawstring areas where the pulls come out is better if the tab is um, sort of a quarter of the way um, you know if you think of it as a clock sort of a quarter of the way um, from that so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put those right sides together and I'm going to pin that so it's just out of the way when I stitched around so, so that velvet, it sews in the normal way, pins? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, pins. Um, it's really beautiful to use. And I think, actually, I was looking at it, and I was thinking, I quite like, you know, if you have, like, um, you make some beautiful velvet ro roses, mm. um, if, you know, you're for, for Christmas oh, yeah, and that kind nice, of thing. And um, if you're going to be doing, like, a kind of wreath to go on your, yes. your door, that would be a great um, option for you to use. There's all sorts of things you could do with this velvet, but obviously it really lends itself to this particular project. And um, so just pinning around the outside. Now, we're going to stitch around, but we're going to leave a turning gap um, here. Now, this is, it, whilst it's not stretchy, it is a bit stretchy. So when you're pulling placing it around the edge don't pull it because you'll end up with a bit of a um, bit of a, an, an, a wrinkle I suppose as you're going around because it will sort of stretch very slightly 
um, like okay any well like any fabric yeah you, it's, um, all... but it's, it's really nice to use now I always found that when I used to use velvet and I don't use velvet very often but particularly when I was at college we'd have to do things with velvet mm. it used to make me sneeze really yeah, because of all the fibers. With all the little, yeah all the little fibers and it's a pain to iron yeah um, you know having to get your you know your, your proper ironing board for velvet out this just irons beautifully because it's got that um, almost a jersey like almost kind of a knit back yeah it. I mean it's not stretchy no. but it does have that kind of knit back and it's um it's good for these bags it's not heavyweight no and it's buttery soft it is isn't it, it is it is I beautiful mean, you couldn't see me earlier but I was I was just like this <laughs> with it because it's just so lovely and actually you know if you're going to be you know you've got, um don't know if you'd necessarily want to give it to children but um sort of elderly people where they've got Alzheimer's they mm. give them those little sort of fiddle um rugs, oh yes don't they? yeah they and would actually be really this nice. would be something that was absolutely beautiful to sort of fiddle but actually it'd be lovely for toy making mm. yeah you can make some so great soft. teddy bears out of this couldn't yeah. be really lovely so we're just going to stitch around here and I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap um I'm going to mark that because I'm a terrible habit of just they're pootling along and not thinking about the fact that I haven't stitched all the way around. So we're just going to stitch those two pieces together and then we'll fold it, uh, uh, fold it around the other way. So we'll pull it through the little gap here. And then it's just a question of threading through the cord and it's going to be done. So it's very, very quick and easy to do. Yeah, so this is a, um, you know, if you need to make a present in a hurry. Yeah. This is a great... Yes, yeah, St Stefania um, messages, said, morning ladies, I'm late and I forgot my friend's birthday. Can you buy the templates on the rainbow? They go see, well, you've forgotten <laughs> someone's birthday. Yes, they are available on their own. Have a look on the website and you can see. But remember, you can phone up as well, 0800 001 4433. It is a free phone number and they're brilliant. I phoned three times yesterday trying to sort my order out. They were amazing. This was, it was my fault. It was my fault for changing my card and then not phoning back when I promised. Oh. But they were, <laughs> that was my fault. But they were so helpful. In fact, I should have written my name down because they're only upstairs and I could have gone and said, thank you, it was so good. Oh, is it a locked room? I'm not allowed in there. I'm always amazed. Oh, I'm not allowed in there. I'll I'm have to hang around outside. And, but I'm, I'm always amazed by the fact that you have this um, post, post the same post amount every you know for the whole day yeah and it's really good really isn't it really big difference because sometimes you watch a show and you think oh, i quite like that but you might not check out because you think oh, i might like something well, I else know, but, but i do that all the time that. with other websites yeah. i think oh i might and then i don't bother because then i forget yeah because i think oh well i don't want to check out yet because then i'm gonna have to pay all the postage it's great so but if you you and it doesn't matter because it's a free phone number whether you phone um on the web or, or you order on the website it's exactly the same it won't cost you any more but they are so helpful because i had really messed it all up the problem is you know when you change you get a new card yeah you then have to change everything don't you you know you have like direct debits on your card yeah but with ours it's great they were so yeah i did apologize to them but um they knew they knew they they, they had had this issue before that and i forgot with to phone you. back no, with other people. <laughs> that, and I did promise I'd phone back, I never did. Oh, loads of people are loving the quilt hanging on the wall. That's going to coming up at 11. That's using, and no cutting needed. No. No cutting, no. use your Gemini and your new, um, the block cutting thing. And um, actually, yeah, the beautiful block, the block, block cutting, cutting thing, thing yeah, the, the, which the, has a proper name, by the, the way. The behind me is actually using lots of different blocks that are going to be able to be made out of the build block that we've got on the show today. So all of those blocks are made out of this one product. Which is fantastic, isn't it? I love the quilt, it's gorgeous. It's nice to learn how to do different two different blocks as well isn't it it is because i think we end up sort of sticking with what we know um and and what we know what we've done in the past um and sometimes we need to sort of shake it up a little bit don't we yes so i'm just stitching around here i'm doing it a little bit slowly because i'm going around on these curves and i'm stitching through a few layers of fabric here as well but you can really can make this you know especially if you're doing it slowly and carefully you can make it in a couple of hours oh yeah easily easy. couldn't you easy no problem at all so i mean if you what is it called with the, it's a japanese term isn't it when you wrap your present in a scarf uh um, yes it's but called it's almost um, that kind of thing that you're wrapping you're wrapping oh what's it called I want to say you can't. Somebody message me and what's it called when you wrap presents with fabric? But it's 
but it's that kind of thing, isn't it? Being able to use a, use a wrapping yes. use a, and, and actually be able to, um, you know, reuse that wrapping as well. I think it's a great idea. And I think we're trying to be sort of zero waste as much as possible, aren't we? So the Christmas wrapping paper, whilst it looks beautiful, um, wouldn't it be lovely if all your presents were wrapped in bags? Um, you know, and all this um, sumptuous velvet. Exactly. And it looks lovely. And then all you have to do is tie a gift tag on it, yeah. put it under the tree, go, hmm, guess whose presents those are. What's the word then, Hannah? <laughs> yeah. I'm I can't believe really what you said. It begins with F, though. Yeah, I think I, I, I need to see that written down yeah. before I could uh, even attempt to say that. There we out. go. Furoshiki. There we go. Furoshiki. It's a new, it was something to do with Japanese wrapping presents. Thank you very much. So we've stitched around the outside. Now, what mm. we want to do is we want to just, um, just cut, do a few snips around the edge so it makes it easier for us to turn it round um, like so. So we'll just go all the way around. Um, if I was doing this at home, I'd probably actually use my pinking shears to go around the edge just to um, get rid of that bulk of the fabric around here, but all the way around. And then we would then turn it out here through that little gap and then stitch that little gap out. So this is, you can see now we've got that little channel going all the way around the edge. Yes. So you can put like a contrast fabric there. Yep. It'd look quite nice with a stripey fabric, wouldn't it? It would, well. yeah. It would look really nice. And we would want to just finish that off here by stitching this, this little gap. Okay. But I'm, I'm not going to worry too much about that. Now I'm going to get my cord and I want to run it all the way through. So I've got the, the piece of cord that it tells you to, do, to have. It's a different size piece of cord depending on the size of the bag that you're making. Right. Um, so just have a look at the details there and you just need to cut it in half and I'm just using a safety pin attached to the cord um, and I'm going to use that to thread through all the way around but you can see why this would be the one that I would say that this would be this would be a good activity to do with kids actually you know if you're wanting the kids to do a bit of sewing um, this is fairly simple for them to do I and mean, obviously you're sewing around a curve but the bigger the bag the, the, the more gentle the curve is um, so I wouldn't necessarily start with a teeny tiny one. I'd start with like a mid-size yeah. one, um, just to sort of hone your skills. But it's a nice, it's a nice um, activity that you can do with mm. an older child, particularly, yes. isn't it? You can make it together, and then they've got their own bag. Yeah. And it doesn't need to be a gift bag. Bag. I mean, you, anyone would love this as a present on its own. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and I think I'm going on holiday tomorrow. Um, are you? Oh yeah. Where are you I'm, going? I'm going to Mallorca, um, mm. which is where I go. No, often because um, my in-laws have got a place out there and the weather looked appalling so my husband left last week and so he's there for nearly a month um, and um, he said oh do you want to come out and I said no the weather looks terrible and it was like severe weather warnings it's nicer weather now so I'm going oh, you get <laughs> and actually, but this is the kind of thing that I would put my toiletries in because I can see exactly what I've got yes I that's have, true um, I obviously travel a fair amount anyway um, so I have a separate uh, I have like a travel toiletry yeah no bag I do I have a travel toiletry gym, bag you know that's got so if you have I don't have one for um, the gym if you have you know, <laughs> um, sort of teenage boys um, which I have um, so you'd have a different one of these bags here these pouch bags one that he would put in his gym bag one that he yeah. has you know for travel um so it, it would make sense to make you know get the pet patterns you can make them all can't you hi i've ordered the teal velvet and the template for the drawstring bag to make instead of christmas crackers Ooh, that's from kay what a great idea. idea we didn't think of the hat yeah yes yeah christmas crackers they would be nice, wouldn't they? Red yeah. velvet Christmas crackers. Yeah. Gorgeous. Actually, I'd quite like them in the teal. Yeah, that would I think be that quite would nice. Look lovely. What well, a you, good you idea. You like teal, don't you? I do yeah. love teal. It's one of my <laughs> favourite colours. So all of these elements are available separately. If you go on to www.sewingstreet.com, click on Watch Live and scroll down from there, they are all available as separate items. So if you just want half a metre of the teal velvet, or you only want the um, drawstring pouch template, that's absolutely fine. It's just that we have bundled them together, either into all the patterns together, all the velvet together, all the, all the patterns and the velvet together. So the biggest saving that you'll make, it should be 
and it is the world launch of the velvet so your biggest saving if you have a look at what you if you're thinking i only want to buy a couple of things have a look at the price and it might be actually more beneficial to get them all together just depending on what you want to buy but they are all available individually i know not everyone wants the whole bundle but just remember that is your biggest saving so i've, so I've pulled all of that cord through there and then i'm going to just put a um, little knot in there and i just need to titivate it to make it um, in the right place so I'm just going to sort of pull the various pieces around okay. so it's all all pulled through nicely and I need to do exactly the same with the other piece oh will you do that cord. and I'm going to talk about zips on the wrong from this other side now I love this product because I buy often um I buy zips and I'll buy like sort of 20 20 inch zips but then I only want like 10 inches and then you have to throw the other bit away but which is such a waste but these are fantastic zips on a roll now if you get the bundle of three you'll get one free so again because we always crafters command you always do this with us we get a special savings so if you buy a pack of each so in this bundle you've got black white and cream now i'm going to show you what you get in one so this is the white one so you are getting five meters of zip. Now this is your standard zip. This is the this isn't your super chunky zip that you get on an anorak. This is this is your normal zip that you would buy. They're really good for the pouches because obviously you need zips for these. So the way it works is you've got the five meters on the roll, and then there's all the zip ends. So I'm busy, oh, it's there's ten zip sliders, and you might not need need all of those depending on what you're doing. And then what you do is you move the zip sliders along and then you cut off the length that you need and obviously keep one on there so say you wanted um i'll move some along because they're already threaded on i mean you can if they come off don't worry you can thread them back on but say you just need six inch zip keep that zip slider there cut the six inches you need and then you've got the rest of it so it's really economical way of having zips you've got five meters all in one go and in this bundle this is the best way of doing it so 15 meters for zips now for 15.98 so basically you're getting one roll for free so you get the five meters of white you get the five meters of cream you get the five meters of black and um you're getting one for free which is great isn't it and you know and maybe you're doing a zip where you want two of them to meet in the middle you can just keep two sliders on it see they're invaluable really aren't they because they're, they're, you always go to buy a zip and they don't have the right colour, they don't have the no, right No they size. don't, well they never have the right, and I always buy really long ones yeah. so that I'm, and then I end up having to cut off and yeah. throw away the bit that I don't want. Yeah, they do, they're really good particularly when if we had some really big um, bag templates last time we came mm. um, and they really, no you need a really nice long zip, they are absolutely Well that's the other that thing is thing. when you do need a lot a really long zip, if you're making like a big floor cushion or something and yep. you know you try buying zips that length it's not easy is yeah. it or so 15.98 remember that's one of the boxes is totally free now I'll just show you them separately so if you just want one of the colours you can do that um, which one have we got so the white one to start with if you want the white roll 10 sliders 5 metres of zip 7.99 so when you think about that £8 for 5 metres of zip that's an amazing price you think what you would pay anyway for if you were buying those as individual I don't know like 20 centimetre length what you would pay for that so that's 7 99 the black one is same same 7.99 for the whole reel five meters of zip question hi rebecca enjoying the show can you tell me what size the sliders are on the zips well they what in oh. they're just your standard size aren't yes, they yes i don't know well i mean you can see it do you want me to um, i can measure them i was going to take measures um these are your normal size dressmaking zips, by the way. I think it's number five, because that's your normal size. So I will measure the length of the top of the slider is two centimetres. So that's the top, the top of the slider from there to there is two centimetres. But 
this is your regular dressmaking zip it's not your chunky zip this is regular what you do so if you look at this bag it's that size zip it's just a regular size but it's that's what you would use it for it's just your dressmaking zip um, then we have cream on its own $7.99 but remember if you want um, all three you can buy what so if you like if you think I want one get the bundle because you get one for free and you won't run out of zips again and you don't have to put the slides on either because they're already on there um, how's it getting on then Becky? Yeah all done I'm just pinning that bit because that's the little gap that I haven't sewn together right um, so I'm just pinning that so you can see what it looks like but I've threaded all of that um, cord through and so now it's just a question of pulling those two sides together and then we would have that little popper there and then that is your little pouch um, all made and you so you can see it I mean it would have taken me a, a, an hour yeah to make so if you were doing it if you hadn't done it before because obviously you've done it before if yeah. you gave yourself two hours that's more than enough absolutely, time isn't yeah. it and, and then you've got a, a present yeah absolutely. from your stash exactly even. yeah from your stash ready for um gifting just like that or pop a little gift inside it brilliant well thank you so much i'm just going to run through these again so if you want the big bundle remember you get this is your best saving everything is available individually and in smaller bundles but to make the greatest saving this bundle should be 69 pounds and 93 pence you get a meter of the magenta remember it's 160 centi uh, half a meter remember it's 50 by 160 centimeters brand new today you cannot get this anywhere else you get half a meter of the teal you get half a meter of the black and you get half a meter of the red you also get all the patterns um, for the three pouches plastic patterns as well so you can use them time and time and time again um, video tutorials information on the patterns are where you can get the video tutorials so you will have someone holding your hand throughout you get the pattern for the brush roll and you get the pattern for the circular drawstring bag that De Becky's demonstrated today in nine sizes now if you want to buy them individually or we have got a special bundle of all three just the patterns with a saving and we've got a bundle of the four um, velvets with a saving but this is your best saving uh, good morning Rebecca and Becky, lovely material, Becky, I think, Rebecca, I think Becky should leave the teal bag with you, it matches your top, I, <laughs> do you know what Nora, I, I think you've got a point, because it sort of does, it absolutely it does, sort of does, yeah. doesn't it, yes, and, and it's my favourite colour, thank you very much for that message, um, anyway, thank you so much for joining me, I'll see you back here in an hour's yeah. time, with your, um, with the patchwork builder, builder block, block. yep, so I'm not allowed to open this up now because it's got to be exciting. I'm not allowed to open this yet. So if you've not seen the Builder Block system before, it's back in stock. Be with me at 11 and Becky's going to show me how it works, what you do with it and show you too. It makes the quilt on the wall really, really easily. So um, that will be at 11. I will be back with you in a couple of minutes time. It is the launch, world exclusive. We've got another world exclusive launch of uh, the Amber Makes tote bags. Don't forget that the um, So This Is Christmas panel is back in stock and we've got some of the Christmas cards as well. So if you want the So This Is Christmas panel, because we did sell out of it very quickly last time, and this graphic will be there over the break if you want to get. So this is back in stock because I know that lots of you missed out on it last week. Back in stock. And I'll be showing you what you do with it. So... I will go to break. We've got three or four minutes while we quickly clear the table, get everything else out, and I'll see you back here really soon. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. 
Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favorite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. of Sewing Street, why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP, even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? 
Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing String on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Welcome back to Sewing Street. Um, right, got quite a few things for you in this hour. So we're just gonna go through them first. So the So This Is Christmas panel. Now the idea behind this was that we designed, um, Amy and I together, well Amy designed them and I stitched them. We designed some um, Christmas cards. So let me just go and get two of them. So I've got the actual stitch versions here. So there's two of them. So she designed them and I stitched them. And then we created a pack of Christmas cards with them. So I, I'll show you those in a minute. Well, no, I can do them now. We'll do them now. Um, so let me just get the others for you, which are behind here. So these are the original ones. Now, let me make really clear, obviously, we're not giving you stitch Christmas cards and we're not giving you kits to make stitch Christmas cards. We, what we did was we photographed these and then we printed them onto quality recycled card with recycled envelopes and recyclable plastic bag. Okay, so these are the Christmas cards. So what we did was that we then printed them from these now we sold them last week we have a few packs left when I say I mean I mean like 20 packs so what we're doing with this we've got a special price that you buy two packs there are five cards in each pack and if you one pack is normally 7.99 but if you buy two that's our special off because we've got many left 12 pounds 98 so these are the cards there's the lovely Robin then you've got the evergreen wreath then you've got the Christmas puddings and then you've got the snow globe scene and let it sew the sewing machine so those are all the cards they come with um the craft brown recycled envelopes and the bag they're in is is biodegradable and also 10% they're charity as well so 10% of all the profits we're going to donate to um, charities that plant and protect trees so that's the pack of christmas cards 12 pounds 98 but we haven't got many left, but that's your special offer. So you'll save three pounds by buying the pack of two together. So we are very limited in stock, but I just thought I'd bring them back. Anyway, what we also did was we created a panel which has um, 10 and a half inch versions of all of those. So you've got the evergreen wreath, the sewing machine, the, um, the puddings, the robin, and the snow globe. Then you have got six five inch squares. So you've got one of each, but you've got two sewing machines. And then you've got the strips here. These are two and a half inches by 30 inches. You've got five of them. And they are smaller versions of the designs. That's all on the panel for just 9.99. As I said earlier, it wasn't supposed to be that price. Then we got confused. Completely sold out. Now let me show you. I This is what third of the stock that we've got back in stock has already gone now from the panel this is what i made now obviously i used a little bit of my own fabric from my fabric stash but this is what i made so i made a cushion those are the um border strips that are on the panel i made a tote bag and i used obviously my own red fabric but that's the sewing machine tote bag with handles there we go i um made a little gift bag from the robin and i use some of the strips for the side but i use my own fabric just for the the back so that's the gift bag um, i also made a table mat from the christmas puddings and i use some of the strip to go down the sides um, i framed one of them because i just really like the scene just in an embroidery hoop with a bit of felt on the back and you can um you could embroider over that as well if you wanted so that's a frame one and then from the little ones 
I made a little gift bag, you know, one of those, um, like a lunch bag, you know, where you can put loads of gifts in it. So I made one, one from the sewing machine, and then I made another one from the Robin, and I made four coasters. And what I, did, I put cork on the back of them. So I've got one, two, three, four. And I made all of that from one panel. So there we go. So I think that's probably why they sold. We did what well, we didn't have enough. That's why they sold out. So if you want one of those, if you missed out last time, two thirds of the stock is now gone of that. So if you do want them. Um, Hi, Rebecca. I just received my So This Is Christmas panel along with other goodies. Even nicer than it looks on screen from Elaine. Oh, thank you, Elaine. That's really nice to know. And that's great. It's great you've already got it as well because that was only last, I um, can't remember what day it was, Tuesday, I think, that we did it. On the third, so like Monday maybe. So that's the So This Is Christmas panel. Um, so please do check out on those because they did fly out last time we were out of stock. We've only got a few of the packs of... Um, we've only got a few of the Christmas card panels left. So if the Christmas card, so if you want those, you do need to get checked out those. Remember, that's a special price of 12 98 for those. Right. Rev um, but remember, if you well done if you've got those. Remember, it's only one PMP, so it's worth putting something like that into your basket because we are now the totes. So the amber makes totally totes. I know we've Amy has been posting these on our um, socials all the time this week, and we've been seeing um, who likes what and what was most popular in your voting. So it'll be really interesting to see on sale. So a quarter of the stock has already gone for them before we even came there. So <coughs> I'm going to start with this one. There are three, they're all made in exactly the same way, you just have to choose the pattern. <coughs> if you've already got it, well done. So this is the bag. So it is, it's called Christmas shopping, so it's a row of like Victorian Christmas shorts. Now this is first time launch ever on air, world exclusive. So the bag features a box bottom. Now with this bag I've put a foam interfacing in it, I've used a bosal. Um, you can use wadding. You don't have to use anything, but just so you know, that's why it has this structure. And the demonstration I'm going to show you today is mainly based on how to put the foam wadding in so that you know how to do it, um, with a bit about how to put the pocket in as well. But you can do it without. You don't need anything at all. You do not need to put wadding in it. You don't need to put foam in it. So you get the outside, and look, you've got all of the... There's the top of the shops, and look, we've got, like, fairy lights... And in, in the windows, the stockings and a Christmas tree. So we've got the... But they'd be great in a shop display window because look at the haberdashery. It's obviously their Christmas display. And if you look, you can see little things like the Christmas sewing machine. That's the same one on our Christmas cards. Look, in the window, it's their Christmas display. They're just so cute, aren't they? And you've got all the... It's a real traditional thing. And then this, the next shop is the toy shop. Look, it's got the little nutcrackers outside. <laughs> Interesting. And teddy bears and nutcrackers. And then when you look at the top of the top of them, there's all they're all decorated like a Christmas street would be. And then on the other side of the bag we have different shops because it's a row of shops because they keep going round you see. So they, they join together. The row when you if I turn it round you can see matches up perfectly. So the row keeps going and on this side We've got the story house, because that's obviously the bookshop. And then we've got the Christmas Emporium, because everyone needs a Christmas shop. And again, it's all decorated. But look at the um, this little window. That's obviously the dressmaker's window, isn't it? Because look, there's a little robin, but look, there's the um, mannequin and the rolls of fabric. I reckon maybe that's the storage for the haberdashery shop. So, but isn't it, I love the bricks. Now on the inside, it's fully lined. And the inside is, it's hard to see, but I'm, I'll show you on the panel. I'm going to show you the panel, but in on the fabric on the inside, you get miniature versions of the shops with all the bricks. And on the inside is a pocket. Can we see this? You see the pocket? So you can choose when you make the pocket, whether you put a zip on it or not. Some people hate doing zips. You don't have to. I'll show you on the other two bags I didn't. But if we open up the zip in the pocket, and look inside, it says, if I can pull it out, secret things. And there is, well in fact I'll pull out the whole pocket and then you can see what it looks like. 
So in the pocket, it says secret things and there's a haberdashery shop. So you don't have to put the zip in, well you don't even have to put the pocket in, but if you want to, you've got the pocket in the bag. Um, also on the panel is the um, all the pieces to make the little cosmetic bag. Oh, and the handles on this are bricks as well. Right, half of the stock of this one is gone, so please do check out. Um, you get the miniature little zip case. That features exactly the same, it's an absolute I identical. And inside, absolutely, it's got the bricks. It's all lined inside, it's got the bricks. Now, on the panel, Amy put on a couple of little miniature things. So I made one of them into a tiny coin purse. So let me show you the panel. So that's, I've shown you around the bag now. So this is the panel. It's a really big panel. It's a big panel. Because it was, so for 22 99 but there's loads on it, isn't there? So there's your bag front and the bag back. That's the bottom, the base pieces. You can see now, you can see better here what the bag lining looks like. It's got all the little shops. There's the, um, all the pieces for, there's the secret pocket. And even the back of the pocket is bricks. And then you see, this was just extra. So I, on the panel, there were four little extra shops. So that's what I made into a little purse. And it, or everything is on there. You also get full instructions, which tell you exactly how to make it with little photos all the way through. Now, I haven't shown you how to make the little purse because that was an extra, but you can just, it's made pretty much in the same way as this, but I just thought I'd use those extras. And there's four little shops, so you can make two little purses. So that is the um, Christmas shopping one. So everything is on the panel for that. Right, let me show you the next one. I have to move them out of the way. Right, gnomes. Should we do gnomes next? Quarter of stock of this has gone on pre-order. Message from Jackie. Still laughing and spending money. Looking forward to this panel. What a great show. Oh, thank you, Jackie. That's really kind. I'm just going to take that out so you can see. So this bag is all about the gnomes. But it's a family of gnomes. So you've got Mr. and Mrs. Gnome sitting on the bench and then baby gnome on the floor there. We've got Christmas trees. We've got Christmas lights um, in the background. Well, obviously, they're in a forest because they're outside in a park, aren't they, on the thing? They've got their Christmas presents. You've got a nice blue bottom. On the back, you've got the same gnome family. Slightly different scene, but same gnome family. The... Um, this one, you can see I've just put wadding in and quilted it. I didn't put um, the foam in. So it's, again, a bit, st a bit stiff that if you don't, you don't need to put anything inside it. Just some people do like to. Good morning, Becky. Love the bag from Helen in Herodford. Yeah, but which one's your favourite? Because we don't know. Um, the lining on this one, this one is because it's only got wadding. I can turn it inside out. There's the lining. It's all the little gnomes. And again, so now with this pocket, I didn't put the zip in. You can just make the pocket, but again, the pocket is, um, says secret things. And you get the little gnome sitting on a present. So I didn't put the zip in that one because you don't have to. It's just a bit, obviously a bit more secure. And then obviously it has straps as well, handles. Um, and I, I found, I keep finding new things on my sewing machine. I found a decorative stitch. So I stitched that red um, little stars all the way along it. It's a it's a blue printed like the sky. But if you've got any decorative stitches on your machine that you never use, like me, give it a go. Right. You also get the little zip purse with this one. Obviously, you've got the base that, um, and the lining is. Oh, the lining is all the little gnomes exactly the same. So the panel. I'll show you very quickly the panel. I mean, it's massive, isn't it? So there's the, the top of the front, the base, the lining. You've got little labels on here. This bag belongs to. Um, there are some extra pieces on this one. So there's all the, the pieces. And there are three extra little gnomes. So again, you could use those to make an extra little purse or a bag charm. 
but everything you need is on that panel. I think this one is actually my favourite. I love watching the programme when you're on. You are so knowledgeable. Love Julie and Hexham. Thank you, Julie. That's really kind of you. I'm not really. I just make it up. <laughs> but I, I love these. I think this is my favourite one. And I, I said to Amy, gnomes. That was it, at gnomes. And that's what she came up with. I mean, it's amazing, isn't it? I just love the plaids. And one more. So this is everybody who's trying to make the decision. The final one is Christmas Post. Now, this is your classic, classic Christmas one. This one is in the lead. Before we started, this one was in the lead. Now, I love this one. Um, again, I've put foam in this one, so it's got that structure. So you've got the classic red post box with the robin, and then um, a very grand, I think it might be a cathedral, very grand church, but it's all in this beautiful winter scene. And I love the way that Amy's done it all in kind of monochrome, but then she's picked up the bits of green. What I did with this one, and I will show you, this is what I'm gonna do in my um, demonstration, is I then sewed around all the lines of the post box and around the church as well. And that gives it a really 3D appeal, but you don't need to do that. I just did that to make it stand out. And then the back of it, it all joins up and then you've got the same scene on the back. Now the inside, I love the inside of this one. Um, can you see? It's harder to do it. It's Robins and Holly. It's beautiful. But, you know, if you want to make this go further, you could, because obviously the lining is the same size as the outer, you could use your own stash fabric inside and you could make another bag for the lining. Um, the, line, the handles are used, they've got the robin and that print on. The secret pocket, oh I love the secret pocket, has got secret things, it's got a robin on a post box. This one I didn't put a zip in, so I'm going to show you how to do that, hopefully. Um, right. <laughs> Sorry, bit of bit of interference on my mic. Then you obviously get the little bag, the little zip bag. I mean, you do get the pieces. You've got like the little zip tab ends that is on the panel as well. The lining of this one is the same as the bag lining. You've got again. So again, if you want to make two zip cases, use your own fabric to the lining. Just cut round it so you know, and then you can use the lining to make another one. Now on the panel, there were some little. I'll show you the panel first. And then you, that'll make sense. So this is the panel. Again, instructions come with each of them. And I love the base of this one in that grey. So there's the panel. Do you see what I mean about the lining? Wouldn't that make just a nice bag on its own? So you can use it to line your bag or make two bags. Um, there's all the pieces. You've got labels. Now, Amy always puts it fills in space. So you see those three little post boxes? They're not for anything in particular, there's no instructions. So what I made is I used two of them and I made a little tote bag, look. See, what I would do with this, I'd put a little key ring on it and hang it round the handle of the bag and it'd be like a little bag charm. There's no instructions for that, but it's just a tiny little bag and then I used a bit of plain red fabric. But you could hang that round there and um, you could make it as a little bag charm. Right, of the post box, once you've all checked out, there are less than 50. Right. So this is the Christmas post box. So you know you've got to choose most popular. Right, so now everyone's decided. Now you've seen them all, you've all got to decide. So Christmas post box. Then we've got the gnome family. Morning, Rebecca. Did you sew the outline through the bolsel? What beautiful bugs. Glynis, yes, I did. And I am going to show you how to do that in a minute because uh, I thought you'd like to see the best way to do that. So that's something I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, good morning, Rebecca. These are gorgeous. You could even use the pocket to make another pouch. Exactly. Just use those pieces of fabric, draw around them, and then cut them out. Once you get your whole panel at home, when you see the panel, Get it at home, read the instructions, have a look to see how it's made, and then decide what you're going to do with it. It is a really big panel. So if you decide you want to make another zip pouch, I mean, look, there's the pocket pieces, the pocket front and back. 
don't put the pocket in or cut round it and use the pocket from something else and use that to make something you know that's that's the thing with it is that you've got everything you need to make this but you can use it for other things should you want to but they are just gorgeous aren't they well i just love i love the illustration um, that's the post box and then finally the gnomes this is amy's favorite I told her she loves it so much. I said, I said, you'll have to have this one. She's going to make one. I said, you'll have to have this one. So this is her favourite one. She spent a long, long time on that. And when you look in the detail, she spent ages drawing this and creating it. The fact that all the rows of shops all join up. Oh, I may, might be biased, but Christmas shopping is my favourite. It was a labour of love, Amy. There you go. See, told you. It was a labour of love, Amy. It spent... She's, and she kept saying, oh, Amy is the other half of Amber Makes. So Amber Makes is me and Amy. So I design the sewing side of it. I do the sort of sewing side and say, right, we're going to have a bag and these are all the pieces. And then I send her a list of the size of all the pieces. And I'm really, really bad at drawing. So I actually have to label my drawings with things like flower because I'm really bad at drawing. So I send it all to her, I make it all up and then I'll often send her um, photos of something I made in another fabric. And then she then draws it all and creates it all and creates the panels. And then I write the instructions. She takes the photographs, puts it all together. So um, luckily she can draw and I can sew. And thank goodness it's not the other way around. Hello everyone, Amber Makes brings so many beautiful things for us to make. Thank you, I love the decorative stitch idea for the bag handles from Belinda. Well, do you know Belinda, I was determined when I got my machine, new machine, I wasn't going to try and do it all in one go because it had so much on it. Um, I have the Elner 720 Pro, by the way. And every time I do something, I'm going to use these decorative stitches and I found this one so nice. Even if you did on the zigzag, it would be nice. So this is the fine, that's the final one. Oh, so the line on the street. Well, do you know, I'm going to show you on the panel because, it, because it's got the bow slings. But I'm thinking, you go Christmas shopping. Um, I got my Christmas shopping bag. I won't as love all the shops together, but you could even make two with plain backs. Well, that's what I'm thinking. When you get it, have a think about it because if you look at the lining for the Christmas shopping bag, I mean, it's just all the miniature. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Plain. I know, I know. And if you look in each corner, um, all the boxed, because we've cut, because they've got box bottoms, they've got cut out corners. You don't need those. You see those little. Um, well, they've all got something. You see the little trees. You don't need those because you cut that out. But those could be for little gift tags. So when you cut them out, cut it out really carefully. I mean, I'll go through in a minute. Morning, Rebecca, you've done it again. I can never resist your beautiful projects. Oh, Karen, thank you. That's really kind of you. I love these. And honestly, I kept saying to Amy, have you finished that bag yet? She said, no, no, it's got to be perfect. She spent ages and ages. So um, th this is her bag. I expect to see her Christmas shopping with it. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? And I like the handles on it because the handles are like the top of the, um, the shopping street. They're bricks. Because if you're going to print the fabric, you may as well print all of it with something lovely. Um, oh, Nicholas said I couldn't choose, so I bought all three. There we go. <laughs> if you're having any problems um, checking out at all, um, phone the free phone number there, 0800 001 4433, and they can help you because we are really, really busy. But, you know, give, keep, stay patient. You will be able to get one. We still have them left. We haven't sold out yet. So don't panic. Right, we will give you stock updates as we go through. We're still okay because we did, because we constantly sell out and it's very annoying. So, um, so we've made sure that we've got plenty of stock this time. Now, let me, um, I'm going to go to this side. Which one shall I, I can't remember which one. I'm going to show you the panels first, how it works. Right, this is my favourite one nooms so when you get your panel if you've not used an amber makes kit before we were uh, most of our panels work in exactly the same way everything is labeled the um everything is labeled so you've got bag lining front 
for example. Everything is labelled above it. I look at this one. They have little names. So when you cut out that, keep the little name. You can put that on a little gift tag. It's so cute, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's so sweet, isn't it? And look, this one's... So cut out the labels. When you do it, cut out the label. They're always on the top above where it is and pin it to the top of it. It just means that when you then make it, you know what is what. And so when you're doing it, and I do the same, I think, I know, I'm going to know what that is. I always forget. So it just makes it easier. There's also something extremely satisfying about when you make it and um, you take the handles off, the labels off as you go along. You think, oh, I've done that bit and I've done that bit. Um, like bag handles. So look, you can see this one has the pale blue ones where I put the, the red stitching on there are labels as well this bag belongs to you so you can put it in your own um morning rebecca i'm saving all the little extra corners from your makes i'll make a cushion for them oh that's such a good idea so i wish i'd done that they would because there's loads of little corners i mean i do tend to keep um things like this so you've got labels you've got empty labels so if you wanted to make this for somebody or you want to use this labels you're not going to need three for this you know you could draw write their name or a message or embroider it write it in a permanent pen um there's a, you know there's other little ones so you could keep all this what a good idea to make a cushion love that um so cut off all the things because there are things here like the case zip tabs cut them all out and put the label above and then put them all to one side look at the three gnomes those are extras, you can do what you like with those. I couldn't really decide, but you know, you could cut round that, sew that to a card, to a blank card. There's three Christmas cards for you. So cut everything out first and label it. That's really important. It, do you know, it says all this in the instructions. I'm just saying that in case you haven't read them. Um, now, when you come, um, if you haven't read them yet, when you come to make up the bag, you now need to make a decision. Do you want to add any structure to it or not? If you want to make it super structured like this, you will need to use Bosal or Styleville or a foam interfacing. Now we do have Bosal. You only need oh, um, half for me. I think it's 50 by 90. Let me just double check. Uh, you can use single sided or double sided. It doesn't really matter. Um, so that's that's enough. I think you need 50 by 90 centimetres. So if you want to make it super structured, then you need this. And I'm going to show you how it works in a minute. If you want to make it a little bit structured, then use some wadding. Now, you can use um, fusible wadding. So this is quilted and it's got a little bit more structure. You can use H640, we've got that in there. I think I might have used 8020 cotton wadding for that, only because that's what I had at home. Doesn't really matter what wadding you use, doesn't have to be anything special. So that went, or you don't have to use anything at all. The bag will work in exactly the same way. And in fact, one little tip, if you don't use anything at all, and I can't do it because I have used it these, the bag will fold up and it will fit in here. So if it doesn't have any wadding and you just do it as a plain bag, so maybe you want it as a, as a Christmas shopping bag, you can fold it up and it will fit in the pouch. I can't show you that because it, I've got wadding in that one, but it will definitely fit in there. So that's just another little idea. So when you've um, cut everything out and you've labelled it all, this is what I did with the bosal. So here's the front of the Christmas post bag. Um, and what you do is pin it to your bosal or your wadding and just leave a little bit of space all the way around. Now you need to sew it on all the way around the edge using, um, within the seam allowance, the seam allowance is quarter of an inch, so I would use, um, that's not true, the seam allowance is one centimetre, I'm talking about seam allowance. So within the seam, it's all in the instructions anyway, within the seam allowance. Now, I, because my machine has a walking foot, I use a walking foot while I'm doing that. It just, because of its bosal, it helps it to go through a bit better. You really don't have to. It will work okay. Right. So this, the Elna 720 Pro that I've got comes with a walking foot, so I use mine. Um, and it, it makes it a bit better. So... Um, if you are going to do this, lengthen your stitch because it's only like a tack in. I'll lengthen it for just over three and just stitch. You don't have, it doesn't have to be super straight. All you're doing is holding it in place. That's the main thing that you want to do. It really important to do this before you quilt because when, particularly when you're using Boozle, Boozle or Styleville, it will pull it in slightly. 
so and what you'll find with this um, foam interfacing it can kind of because it's thicker it pulls it in slightly so just keep the tension of your fabric you've, if as long as you've pinned it on so that you know it's really straight it's nice and flat just pull it slightly and then you can keep the, the tension on the edge not too much you don't want to pull it out of shape but this will just give you a bit of stability when you're actually quilting so I just thought I would have done this in advance but I thought I'd show you how it works and then all the way so you know it doesn't have to be super straight just try stay within the seam allowance because you don't want these stitches to show when you actually make the bag you can see that I'm not really concentrating very hard Right, so at this stage, you now need to decide if you want to add any detail. Do you know what, you don't need to. If you just want to give your bag some structure, but you don't want to add any of the quilted detail, you absolutely don't need to. So with this one, you can see, well, it's actually it's a good job I stopped because you could, you could end up doing all of it. I started off and I used a red thread and I went all the way around the post box, round here, I went round the robin. Then I started doing the church. Honestly, if I'd had a bit more time, I'd have done all the windows and the trees and everything. Um, so it's entirely up to you what you quilt and what you don't quilt. Um, what I found is if you want to do it the same as I did with the um, church, when you come to quilt it, particularly when you're using a walking foot, you can't see as well as what you're, you're doing. And what you've decided, particularly as these lines are quite faint, um, because the foot's quite chunky, you can't see as well. So what I did is I actually drew with an erasable pen the lines that I wanted to quilt in advance. So that when I all had it under the machine, um, I just used a, um, a heat erasable pen. That's all I used because it just means you can see a little bit of what you're doing because there's lots of little angles on here. You don't need to do that. When I did the um, this one, There, there is a bit, how much time have you got, really? So I started off, oh, I know, but I, I did have three bags to get made. So um, I went round these windows, and then I went round here, and then I was thinking, oh, shall I go round all the window frames? So I went round the edge of the houses, then the doors, and honestly, I thought I, I need to stop at some point, otherwise I would have done the whole thing. But just go round the main structures, so just things like where you think it makes those windows stand out a bit, and then doing the, um, the row of fairy lights, that pulls that in a bit. And like on the other side, I just did the doors around the edge, but... I think if, if I had had more time, I didn't have to, I think I would have gone round all of these window frames. Now, you can use a matching thread or not. It's entirely up to you. I used a pale grey thread for all of it, but I could have used a green thread to go through there. I decided with the post box, I actually think it looks quite nice to do it in the red thread just because it makes it stand out. It gives it that 3D quality. Also, it is tempting to quilt it all because once you start, it's lovely to do it. It's really nice to do because it's very simple. Oh, bit of glittery, glitter, glittery thread. But remember, the whole point of this is quilting. It makes things stand out and other things recede. So if you quilt everything, nothing will be receding. So if I had quilted all of the leaves, then they would not have receded in the same way. But by quilting the post box, that stands out and the leaves go back. So if I'd done all the leaves, everything would be competing with each other. And maybe if I'd done all the trees, there would have been too much. So start off by doing the one thing that you want to quilt and then from there, um, have a look. So let me just show you. Now, I haven't got a red thread in my machine, but this is how you do it. Um, so I'm going to quilt. I'll show you upside down. That's I'm, going to, I'm going to quilt along there, but I don't want to quilt through that leaf because that's not part of the post box. So now if you have got one of these machines, the best way to do this, so you're not having to reverse stitch, is uh, many machines have these lock stitch at the beginning. That does four or five stitches up and down and it just holds the thread. And then I've got my stitch length on three. That's a good length for quilting. And this is why it's so addictive, because all you have to do is sew along there. And then when you get to the end, you could reverse stitch, but if you've got a lock stitch, just lock stitch it. Does it all on its own and press stop. And then it cuts it. And then that's that one line done. Now it is quite thick. If you want, I mean, it, would, it does go through. This machine's got an extra high lift, so you can do that if you want to. But 
but it's it's fine it does go through it's fine but look i'm not having any problem now i'm just going to stitch that little bit up to uh, up to the edge of there and then i'm going to go round here so you just come up. it does because you've got lines to follow it's really easy also you don't i mean with the red thread you need to be a bit more careful but if you're using like a thread that matches the background you don't really need to um worry too much about it being super straight so then i went across the top of the post box and it doesn't have to be perfect lines and then i thought oh i got to the end of there and i thought do you know what there's snow on top of that post box i'm going around the snow Rebecca, are the instructions included for the cute tiny bag you made from Sylvia? Well, no, they're not, but it's really easy. You just so I just hemmed the top of them, turned them over half centimetre, half centimetre again, and then sewed the, the front and the back right sides together and boxed the corners and made some little handles from some strips of fabric. So exactly the same as the big one. You don't, you know, it, it was just something minor. Maybe I'll write some instructions. It really was very quick. Yes, should do mini makes instructions. I'll put them on the website. If you really, Sylvia, if you have any problems, you really, really want to make it, um, on the back of the instructions is our email address. Email me and I will send you the instructions because it can't be that hot. No, I'll write them out. They won't take long. So if you really want to make it and you can't work it out, on the back of the instructions um, I, is our email address. So look, I've just gone round now the, um, the snow and around the side of the post box and it's already starting to come out so you know if you've got your red thread go around the rest of it and then get completely carried away but do remember that you do need some stuff receding the post box is the most popular right we have more people who've got the post box in baskets than we've actually got available so if you've got it in your basket you really need to check out Morning, I love the post box. Reminds me of childhood Christmas from Wendy in Herefordshire. I love it. It's, it. I see what you mean because it is, and although it's monochrome, when it's snowy, the world looks like that, doesn't it? It just looks um, so white and gorgeous, isn't it? It's so lovely. And what I love as well is Amy's left the front of this um, blank. You could put details on here. You could put them the Chris, day of Christmas, if you were making this for somebody, you could put their name on there. You could put like um, last collection and you know, you could really personalize that, couldn't you? I think it's just lovely. I quilted along, oh, they, I quilted along the road, along the fence, entirely up to you. Right, I have got 15 minutes, so I'm going to show you. So just quilt it, quilt like mad. Just as much as you like. Um, when you've done that, I've done quite, so that's that one gone. Um, you have got to sew the base of the bag to the top of the bag. And the reason for that is we could have printed them all together, um, but you get by print, but by um, having the base and the top as separate pieces, you get a slightly different effect. It gives it slightly more structure. So that's why we printed them as separate pieces. On the lining, it's all one piece, but it, you do get a slightly different effect. So, I mean, all in the instructions, there's photos, everything is covered in detail. Any questions, you can always email us. It's really simple. So make the front and the back of the bag, and then you sew them right sides together like that so now you've got your front and your back then I was just going to talk about to make the boxing of the corners and this is what I did with that mini bag is match up the two seams now let me turn my iron on oh where's the thing gone sorry right I'm just waiting for, just warm the iron up now what I'm going to do now this is this is where your wool pressing mat comes in really handy. Um, you know, when you need to do, you know, I said, if you were watching me earlier, eight, watching the show earlier, eight o'clock, and I was using the wool pressing mat. Uh, these are twenty four ninety nine. I paid over £40 for mine a few years ago. They should be thirty nine ninety nine, but they're brilliant. So I want to match these two seams. This is to create that nice box corner. I want these to match up perfectly because... Um, if you see here when you you'll be able to see these so I want a nice match to them so because you've got your wool pressing mat lay it all out flat match at the seams put a pin 
through that top seam, it'll go into the mat, and then just pull it apart and make sure it's going through the seam underneath, which amazingly it is. And then get another pin. You can use this method when you are sewing the bag together and you want to match up this seam as well. Use the same method. So now I know that that's together, I've used my lovely pressing mat to pin it into. Put a horizontal pin and another horizontal pin. Take those out. You can just. I often use my um, my mat as a pin cushion, and then when I come comes into my next bit of pinning, I can find it. Um, then you need a nice good press with this. Give it a good press. The pressing mat will pull the heat back through, and you will get a much crisper edge. It's a great thing to have. Um, then all you have to do is sew this together. Um, I will keep my, you can keep your walking foot on to be honest, I'll keep it on for now. Saves change in it. Oh, maybe change my stitch length. Right. Right, so that is the um, one corner done. You do the other corner in the same way. Let me just take the pins out and show you. So if I turn it right sides out, you do and do the other one at the same time, don't leave that one. And then you've got a really nice boxed corner which matches up. The lining boxed corners are done in exactly the same way. Before, once you've done them, give them a nice press because you want a really crisp edge and it's a lot easier to get that to get that nice crisp edge before you assemble the whole bag as well. So that's the that's the um, the outer done. Obviously, I need I would box the other corner as well. Um, lining now, before you do the lining, you need to put its pocket in. Remember, there's the lining. You don't need to obviously buy your own fabric. There's the lining. It's on the panel. But because this is the same size as the bag front, you could put this, place this on top of some plain fabric, cut round it, cut your two linings. You could then use that for another bag if you wanted to, or if you want the whole thing lined because it all matches, it's got the same bricks and the same houses. But you could do that because there are no markings on all the, this. Although this is where I'm going to put the pocket, it isn't. Um, so you've got enough to make two bags really. And you can make two purses so you can because you've got enough if you use your own fabric for linings you have got enough I mean in fact with the with the bag itself you could use that for the bag front use your own fabric for the bag back and then you could have two bags with that in the front that's another thought the linings aren't marked at all even though we're going to put the pocket in them so that's um, you can use them for bag outers so You've got a pocket front and a pocket back. Now it's really, I had to work out which was which. For me, the pocket back, I guess it's the bit that's at the back of the bag. So the pocket back is actually the bit where it's got the printing on it. So if we look on here, oh, actually I can lay it down, can't I? Um, the pocket back is the bit that sits at the back. So that's got the printing on it. So the pocket front is the bit that you're going to use to cut a hole in. So put that to one side. Now what we're going to do is mark on here. Now all of this is in the instructions. I just need to get a little, get a pen. All of the measurements are in the instructions. So you don't need to remember anything. So what you do is you, I'm just gonna make, I'm gonna just mark these because I know, I remember what the markings are, but you, you just need to get, um, a ruler and measure it. You can do this, it's actually quite, you can do it with a, a rotary ruler if you want. So you, you mark, as it's explained in the instructions, three lines. Do it on the wrong side. Just draw them almost full length. There's pictures of all of this as well. And then you need to mark um, the length of it as well. So, I was going to mark it in advance, but I thought it would be quite useful to show you. 22. 
Yes. Um, I'm just going to mark that one. Right. So what we're doing is we're marking a special box to put the pocket in. Now, if you don't want to put a zip in this, you don't. But it's quite a nice practice. If you're not really into zips and you haven't done many zips, it's quite a nice way of practicing and learning how to do it. So I've now marked that. All the measurements are in the instructions. Take one of your lining pieces. They're both the same, so it doesn't really matter. And then you pin it centrally on top. So you can measure centrally. But what I tend to do is just fold it in half, make a crease, and then do the same with this one and make a crease and then I can match them up. And then it needs to be placed just down from the top. Again, all the measurements are in the instructions. So once you've done that, don't forget they need to be right sides facing, then pin it together. Now this is, even if you don't like doing zips and if you've never done this sort of pocket before, it is, it's quite simple. You just need to take it slowly if you haven't done it before. So. You're just holding this in place. Don't do any pins around the sewing because you won't be able to sew them. Just put your pin it together just all the way round so it's holding it in place. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew around the outer lines. This central line is for cutting, so ignore that. Just sew around the outer box. When you're doing this, it's important that this is quite stable. So I would shorten your stitch length to a little bit, maybe like two, a little bit lower than you would normally do. And you don't, you don't need a walking foot for this, but it takes time to take it off. This is the great thing about a walking foot, which is um, the great thing about a walking foot is that you can, I'll need it back in a minute. Um, you can just keep them on. The only thing is, is that they're more bulky. You can't see as well. So just sew carefully around the outer drawn lines. And the great thing is, is because they're drawn, they're e you're not having to follow seam allowances. You just sew along them. And then along that one. Right, so for this um, Christmas shopping, when, you, when you've all checked out, we've got less than 40 in stock. We are getting very limited on this one now. Okay, so now the temptation now is to press that and I always say to you, press before you do anything, but with this time don't press because you need that central line and you'll lose it. So I need a pair of scissors. Right. So you need to cut along this line through both layers. So the best way to do that is fold it in half, but make, to keep it nice and straight, make sure those top edges lean, line up. And then you can just sew, you can just cut a little snip like that. Then open it out and then cut all the way, not right to the end, because I'm going to cut some, you can draw these on in advance if you like, but I'm going to just cut some little diagonals right up to the stitching, but not actually through it. This just helps it to turn out flatter. And then once you've done that, then cut along this section, you go through both layers, and then cut those little diagonal lines, but don't cut through this. If you do cut through the stitching, just pop it back under the machine and go over the stitching again. Right. Now we're going to turn it right sides out to make our little box thing. But you can now press it. There we go. Before you turn it right sides out, I find you get a neater finish if you um, open this out. You do this with your fingers, and I'm going to press it in a minute. But you do get a neater finish if you do this first it's quicker as well. So press those open with your fingers and even that little triangular bit there. Right, now then you can take your iron and press that. Now we're going to turn it through. That's why it's called a post box opening. So turn it all the way through. It's like magic this bit. and put it lining side down. 
and then it looks like oh well I've, it's not going to work because it's all pulled up because it's all because you've got all of those edges but it is going to work it is I promise you it is going to work so you just do it little bit by little bit and that's the beauty of this pressing mat because this is where you want a really nice pressed finish so pull that open and you see and as you do it when you take a little bit of time on it it will all press open beautifully and then sometimes what you need to do is you need to turn it over to the other side again remember if you think if this is putting you off think I really don't want to do that then you don't need to put a pocket in it the, the lining isn't marked at all but it is quite once you've learned how to do this it's really satisfying so just give it a go so if you you know if you take a little bit of time with it and press it now you can see I don't know whether you can see on the mat because it's grey can you see I've got a nice see my little hole and it's really neat isn't it so if you are not going to put a zip in here all you need to do now is top stitch around the edge and that will just hold it all into place if you are going to put a zip in and now this is quite funny because this was um, what I said uh, right what I, this is what I said earlier um, about buying zips that are way too long is that I don't need a zip this long you only need zips on a roll um, if you want to know about lengths of zips how much bows and wadding to go if you go onto the website and if you click on this the kit underneath it I've put on the listing what isn't included in the kit and measurements and sizes of zips and everything so if you click on the product description it, um, it says what's in the kit um, so if you so if you click on that and it's the same for all amber makes products there you go it says well, yeah it says what you will also need that isn't included so that you could because it really annoys me when i buy something and i think well i want to know what else to buy or what i've already got so it tells you what else you need so you do not need a zip as long as this but that's the length i buy them so really simple Put the zip underneath now get one that's slightly longer if you've never done this before buy a zip that's a bit longer because you will find it easier ignore the slider issue for now because the slider just gets annoying at this stage make sure that that zip so this is for you know if you've never done a zip just give this a go make sure that the teeth are running centrally down there and then pin th all the way through Pin it all the way through, all the way round. Leave those, um, you can leave the ends. So this is quite simple. You could also, if you've got fabric glue, you could glue it into place as well. But it's up, it's up to you. Some people, I, I change between just pinning it and gluing it. So now I know that this zip is nice and stable. I'm going to also pin these zip ends into place because that was going to keep it really still and you won't you won't be sewing there so just keep that nice and still now what you can do is move the zip slider there we go move that inside now I know so if I'd tried to pin that zip on with the slider here this a bit would have been open it wouldn't have been as even by doing it that way you know it's nice and even now okay because you've pinned the ends of the zip you know that they're nice and level so just pop a pin across there now that's a really nice even finish and all you've got to do is top stitch around the edge of that and that's it I just don't think I've got time to that we're already going over as it is so um, but all you do is top stitch around the edge and one last thing you take the other pocket but you don't need to put a pocket if you don't want a pocket but when you've done that and you've put your zip in take your other piece of pocket the one that says secret things put it right sides together with that and you sew it together all the way around just don't make sure you don't sew into the bag just pick it up so you sew it together just make sure you don't sew into the bag and then you've got your pocket it's really easy but you know as I can't remember who it was a message in said you could use that for something else you could there we go so that's how to make the bag but honestly all everything that I've told you all the instructions um, are all in there 
Right, I'm just going to recap the bag kits. So, Christmas post. It's Christmas street. Okay. Right. Christmas street bag. So, there are more people who've got this in baskets than we've actually got in stock. Remember, you are getting everything to make the bag, handles, lining, secret pocket, haberdashery, toys, the story house, Christmas Emporium. I mean, this is a great gift for somebody as well, isn't it? It doesn't have to be just for you or for your Christmas shopping, but what a lovely gift for somebody. Um, and don't forget, you get everything to make the little zip purse. Full instructions are all in there. And that's just a little extra I made. There aren't any instructions for that, but honestly, made it in the same way, except it hasn't got the box bottom. Um, you, in the, you get the panel for the kit, you get the full panel, and you get full instructions. Yeah, it's all in there. And the panel includes everything that you need. I'm not going to open it all up, but that's everything you need. So that's that one. Should we do gnomes? Oh, Jane says, morning, Rebecca, loving the panel. I'm thinking cushions. Well, you could, couldn't you? You could make cushions from them. So the gnomes, you obviously get everything for the front and the back. But you, if you wanted a gnome cushion, you could use these to make, and the lining. You can make four cushions, couldn't you? Um, mum, there's the, there's the gnome family. Mummy gnome, daddy gnome, baby gnome. And then you get the gnome, the gnome bag. Oh, where have I put that? Um, it's in the bag. No um, bag. Obviously, they all have a little bag. And then you get... <coughs> what was that? Yes, luckily, just say that I didn't break the iPad. It fell into the trolley. <laughs> Massive panel. Look at the size of it. I'm not tall enough. Full instructions, linings, outers, casings, pockets, handles, it's all on there. Um, and full instructions for making it with photos and everything. And, um, our, sorry, our email address is here. So if you do have any questions, you can always ask. And finally, this one is about to sell out. The Christmas post is almost gone. So if you want the Christmas post, as in there are less than 20, you need to check out because the problem is, is if you leave it and you wait, then gradually we'll, the next hour some people will come in, they'll go out. And if it's in your basket, then people will take it from you. And that would be sad. Um, and then don't forget, you can make a little, little bag as well. Um, right, so this is Christmas panels. So these are based on the Christmas cards that we've done. If you want the Christmas cards, they're on the website. Don't forget if you um, missed out on this one before, don't forget to check out on the So This Is Christmas panel. You have got five 10 and a half inch squares featuring one of each of the designs. You've got six five inch squares featuring six of the designs. And then you've got five two and a half inch strips. If you've already checked out, don't worry, pop it in your basket. You only pay one PMP a day, so it's not like, the, oh, well, I've, I've done it now. It doesn't matter at all. Um, if you, just remember if you've bought the kit, watch the show back, particularly if you want to do the quilting. Remember what the date is, because then you can have a look through how to do it. And more importantly, please send me pictures of your finished makes. I love to see them. Post them on our Amber Makes Facebook page. We'd love that. Now, if you love the quilt on the wall behind you, because we've had a lot of love on it, this is using the patchwork system with the Gemini. It is back in stock. I am fascinated to learn about it. I was talking to Becky about it earlier. She goes, wait till the show and I'll explain it all to you. So uh, we're going to have a, we're running over a bit, but hey, we'll, but don't worry. We will, um, Becky will have a, a full hour. We will take some time off the other one. Yes. Um, I will see you back here in a couple of minutes time. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? 
you can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. 
Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Welcome back to Sewing Street. Oh, we've got a fab hour. This brilliant builder block system, which I'm fascinated to learn about because it makes the quill behind me and so much more. So I'm going to find out. Um, actually, Becky's promised to show me and you how to use it at the same time. So first of all, let's just go through the product. So um, this works with the Gemini machine. So if you've already got a Gemini machine, this is a great add-on. If you haven't, you're going to need one of these. So the Gemini um, machine, oh, it's just it. what doesn't it do? It cuts out fabric, it cuts out paper, it embosses, it does all sorts of things. It's just genius. Just by pressing and not by heat either, which I think is fantastic. Um, 179.99. Now, when you buy it, you also get um, three packs of the fabric dyes, the animals. So these are for your plique. So these, you run these through your machine and they cut out your fabric exactly like this. I mean, obviously people use this for paper crafting, but you're going to be using it for cutting out all the sewing applique shapes and patchwork shapes, all sorts. Um, you can use it with felt, you can use it with leather, denim, cotton, all sorts of things. Absolutely brilliant. So you get three packs of applique templates and you get the fabric clips, 179.99. And this amazing machine. Let me just move it out of the way. Um, you can get that. Oh, in? I thought you said out of shot. There we go. Sorry. I oh, know. <laughs> there we go. On my move now. So 179.99. That is also available on split pay. So if you'd rather spread the cost of the payments, you can have three equal payments of 59.99. Doesn't cost you any interest at all to do that. It's just a way of you spreading the cost. So for this system, um, before Christmas, it'll all be done if you're treating yourself. If you've seen them demonstrated before, you'll know amazing. I was um, on with Sarah, I think, last week. F absolutely fantastic. I'm amazed what this does. But you need it to use this builder block system that we're going to explain in a minute and um, saves you so much time. The accuracy, amazing. Now, this comes with all the plates that you need for cutting out paper and fabric and all sorts. You can go going straight away with it. But do you know what the, one of the beauty of this machine is? It can cut lots and lots of layers of fabric. So that saves you even more time. So we do sell extra cutting plates. Now, these are extra thick because they are designed for cutting lots of layers. So the plates that come with your machine, they're fine. They will cut fabric. But if you've already got a machine or you know you want to cut lots of fabric layers, it's worth getting these extra two metal plates because they're extra thick and you can then cut more and you can save even more time, which is particularly important if you're going to be using this builder block system because you'll be wanting to cut out lots of things. Um, the builder block system, back in stock today and Becky is going to explain to us how it works because I've no idea so I'm going to come over to Becky's desk oh sorry sorry <gasps> sorry <laughs> Hannah she's telling me off I've been told off. right sorry reversing now 99.99 that's what it would normally be in here you are getting all the different dies you need to cut out all these 18 different blocks there we go there's some of the blocks look at that on that side, not that side. <laughs> That's just an idea of some of the blocks. I mean, obviously stay stay with us because Becky's going to explain it and show us what we do. We just want to get the price for you so you know to get it into your basket. Now, normal price for this, 99.99, but not today. 79.99, 20 pounds off. That's amazing. Um, if you've already checked out, and I know some of you have, don't worry, you will be charged the lower price. But this is going to create 18 different blocks and this is going to make your patchwork journey neater, easier and quicker. So, Becky, can you show me what's in there? Yeah, Am I absolutely. Over so this is our main builder block. We've got lots of builder blocks. I'm going to be bringing a different one to you each month. 
Yes. Um, so we've got we've got months of me coming months, in and showing months you these of blocks. things. But these have got your real sort of standard shapes. So you've got your squares, your half square triangles, mm. and quarter square triangles. Um, and they are they are dies. So yes, you absolutely do need to use them with your your Gemini. Um, and they come in this little sort of presentation. Box. Oh, it's got drawers. It's got little drawers. Oh, I like so it that. it keeps them every no it keeps everything in place um, without losing them. So if I turn it round here, you can probably see it a little bit better. You've got little a little road map which shows you the size of everything on here so it shows you what size all of those um, triangles are and then as you open up you'll see those um, inside now Sarah's top tip is that she actually writes on the little box and this is like a velvet flocked kind of box and mm. um, what every size is in case she loses one of these so you get all of these different dies oh, okay. they all sort of slot into these little um, packages oh, it's all beautiful. They, yeah. they keep it all mm. in, in place now I've got a lot of paper craft um, dies and I shove them in a box which is really bad because because they get broken, they get bent. Oh, and it's labelled um, half square triangle yeah. die set. And then this one is your squares um, that you've got here. So you've got your squares and then you've got your quarter square triangles in here. So these are your kind of bread and butter really, aren't they, for your, your quilting needs, uh, having your different, um, you know, these particular shapes. Now each, I'm trying to get it round the right way, it's like a puzzle. Um, each time I come in, I'm going to mm. bring a different builder block in so you can see the types of things you can do. But this is like our first one. This is the main one with the most um, the most well used kind of designs. Right. Well used kind and of you can make different size blocks from like a three inch to a 12 inch absolutely. or a finished block. Yeah, absolutely. You can mix and match these in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. Um, you'll get, um, as with all of the builder blocks, you'll get a little instruction booklet. Um, now, the instruction booklet talks about you know key information about using quarter of an inch seam allowance. Mm. So we've already taken into account your quarter of an inch seam allowance um, when we put these together and you'll see you, with these triangles where you've got this little point here we've taken those dog ears off them oh, um, so okay. we try to make it as simple mm. as possible so you don't have to sort of trim away um, once you're using these um, it talks about using your grain line and um, so if you've never used them before you just need to see how you cut everything out on your fabric um, using your grain line and then as you get further in it shows you the different blocks you can do now let me just explain that there's loads in here but there's even more that you can make so obviously with squares quarter square triangles well, half yes, triangles, yeah. the list is mm. not necessarily endless but, but it is yeah. far well this is your basics of what you do with patchwork absolutely it is and it shows you how many of everything you need to cut depending on the kind of blocks you have yeah, so, you so if you'd make... already had a quilt kit and it yeah. said you could use this to cut out your quilt kit yeah absolutely i mean if you've got right. if you've just purchased a whole load of fabric you want to make a quilt perhaps mm. you're doing one of those um, block a day um, quilts, book a day for a year yes, and things. Yeah. Quite often they're just using squares, half mm. triangles, quarter square triangles. The one behind us um, is done in exactly the same way. So each time a different block's being made, um, but you can see they all, all work perfectly together. You're using all, yes. the, all the sort of same so you just fabrics. Choose what you size just choose block. what you want to do. Not every block is available in every size. Mm. Um, you'll just find all that information in your little booklet. Um, but you, it shows you how to put them together and um, it gives you rough ideas. So for example, the shoe fly one, it shows that you start off um, creating your um, half square triangles first of all and then you sew everything into um, strips of three and then you st show those sew those strips of three um, together to make your um, your block so you just work your way through the little booklet and find the kind of thing that you want to do so it does make it super easy it's in lots of different languages um, it does at the back show um, a couple of different designs um, um, that are more complicated so as you work your way through the book you'll find that oh, they um, okay. work together now when I come back here next week I'm going to be bringing the builder block plus which is different shapes but they work really well with this and oh. there are lots more designs that you can oh, make wow. by mixing the two together mm. so they definitely work they're going to be something that you're going to be using again and again yeah. because they are so easy oh, there's so many different so all of these different blocks and we've heard of all of these yep. fox and geese basket hunter's star dutchman's puzzle yep. sawtooth tulip yeah i mean it that's really brilliant easy. Yeah. Card and trick pinball because it is the it's, if you can get your cutting right, yes. that's half the battle. Oh, totally. Or and I, more. I find using a rotary crusher quite, I don't, oh, not quite difficult. It's a pain. Mm. It's a pain and it's difficult to get that accuracy and it takes ages. And I didn't, I don't enjoy that bit. I, know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know lo lots of mm. people do. They yes, like no, that. but certainly, and then same with dressmaking, a lot of people go, I hate cutting out, I hate yeah. the cutting out. But these are all traditional quilt blocks that we all yep. know and love. Mm -hmm. 
and it's all there absolutely yeah absolutely it makes it easy so it means that you can get started putting everything together yeah. the way you want to it's going to cut through multiple layers of fabric so we say eight layers of six to eight wow. layers worth of quilting cotton you can which run you can't through the do machine. with the rotary cutter no exactly run, you can run the, everything through your sewing machine you know everything through your die cutting mm -hmm. machine i put everything in um uh, little um, takeaway containers. Okay. Um, so I have them all laid out mm. in the different colours, and then you can just start putting. And then you can start because it's all cut out. In Absolutely. One go. Yep. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do um, we're going to carry on with the project that I started um, last month. I think it was. I'm just trying to find it because I can't seem to see where I've put it. Um, but um, it was a um, it was using these um, these little dies. Um, to create the shapes and it mm. was creating um, a larger quilt. Have you found um, it? No, I don't, know, I don't know what I've done with that. I'll find it in a minute. I have a little rummage. I love okay. a little rummage. Um, but it's to make this, um, this is just a piece of the quilt with the little, um, these little leaves, sort of um, autumnal leaves. So I was making a table runner out of this. And mm. this is just using squares yeah, and half yeah, square triangles. Maple leaf. So really, really easy to do. Um, so I'm just going to get my bits and pieces together and start working on that. Um, but what I have got for you is an example oh, wow. of a whole load of different oh, Right, I'll go through these while through. you um, get yourself sorted out. Now remember these work in conjunction with the Gemini machine so if you've already got a Gemini machine that's fine you just need to pay the 79.99 which £20 off to buy the builder block. If you haven't and you love the idea of this you'll need to get the Gemini machine um, which is on the other side of the screen. It's ASNS2039 so that's on the other side of the screen £179.99 uh, but Obviously, you can do all of these builder blocks with the Gemini machine, but so much more because you can do a plique and other all sorts of shapes as well. So let me just show you some of the blocks that you can do with your builder block. There we go. There we go. Now, I don't know the names of all of these. I should know some of them. I know that's a nine patch. <laughs> I mean, it just goes on and on. It's, it does. It does. I love that. And look, already cut out. You've just got to sew them together. I mean, Becky will be demonstrating in a minute how to do it. You know, these very, it's even the simple, even simple ones like this, but you've still got to cut it all the four sides. But, you know, you imagine these are just in plain fabrics. You imagine that in a cave or this one in a Liberty. Lovely, aren't they? Love the sawtooth. And these are all the ones you know, these are your traditional blocks. There's your sawtooth star. It's lovely. And what you can do with this one is you can make a smaller sawtooth star, put it inside. You've got a rising star. Love this one. But you know, if you've got that in an Anna Maria Horn, it would look lovely. Doesn't that, you know, it's the fabrics you choose as well, but you've got the accuracy. It's all cutting it out for you. And it's, and these are all blocks that you know and you know, you probably, you, a lot of the quilt kits that we do are using these traditional blocks. If you've got a quilt kit, there's the basket one. Lovely, isn't it? But you know, it's that accuracy that I think is brilliant. This is just going on and on. And from this one box of dies, these are just a few of the things you can make. I know, but this is like weeks. You know, and why don't you just think, right, well, do you know what? I'm, I'm going to make a sampler quilt. I'm going to make 12-inch blocks. I'm going to make one of everything that's on the side of that box. If you've already got your machine, oh, doesn't the Hunter's Star look beautiful in it? That works really well, doesn't it? I love that. And again, you know, you've got that lovely, perfect accuracy make a whole a whole quilt just using that one you know we have this fabric we think what are we going to do with it well look choose a color range of fabrics that you think vaguely go together and then make a block in each of them and play with it because you've got this you could even make your own set of sample blocks like this and remember they don't all have to be this size not all blocks work in all the sizes but most of them do there is a choice from a three inch to a 12 inch block so you can make a miniature quilt and it's lovely to have all of these samples, isn't it? It is, because you sometimes, I think we were talking about this earlier, sometimes you get into a little bit of a, um, 
a mental block, don't you? Literally, yes, pun. Yeah. there's a pun. Um, but you know, you sometimes think, actually, I'm just using the same thing over mm. and over again. And these are quite inspiring. And obviously, you can have a look online. Um, there's loads of other blocks that you can make yes. just with the squares, yeah. half square triangles. Um, and, and on the side of the um, container, you've got all of those different blocks that you've got there as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just great to have that sort of, that, that sort of way of having a flip through. It is, through. and I actually think that once you start making a few, you then come up with your own ideas. Yes. Because yeah. it really is squares, triangles, and quarter square triangles, and yeah. then you've got you've got everything you need there. Um, look at the tulip one. I'm turning around. There we go, tulip. But I think you would once you start making these, you'll get inspired as well. That's lovely. But you think with this one, if you joined loads of these blocks together, you would have like that chain going all the way down through your quilt. That's gorgeous. Now remember, this is um, £79.99, 20 pounds off. It's the whole patchwork block system, then you use it with the Gemini machine. I'm nearly there. And this is just a few of them. I like this one. That's clever, isn't it? It is really clever. And then you think, actually, as, as, an, as if you're a new quilter, you think, oh, I'm never going to be yeah. able to do that. And because there's so many points, it would be quite tricky if you were having to cut those out all yes, individually. Yeah. But that's the beauty of this, that, you know, you run it through the machine, it's all cut out perfectly, you just sew it together. And as long as you're using your quarter of an inch seam allowance and you're being, you know, meticulous about mm -hmm. that, then absolutely it's going to come together beautifully. So we've got a message. I invested in my Gemini and the Builder Block. I have very bad neuralgia in my hands and find using a rotary cutter dangerous. This is brilliant. From Laura, Brilliant. that's then, great. That yeah. was exactly what you said, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. That this saves your hands. It does. And, you know, even like hand sewing, after a while, your hand starts to ache, doesn't it? With yeah, a bit of hand sewing. Yes. Rotary cutting is the same. Mm. You need to also be upright or you need to have your table down low enough to be able to get that purchase on the rotary cutter. Don't have to worry about any of that on no. the machine. It's all right, very do you easy. need the machine? I do need the machine, yeah. So what we're going to do is, um, I'm using my fabric plates here. So these are the, the thick, heavy metal plates um, that we've got on the show. These do not do not come with your Gemini. They're not a standard thing. These are fabric plates that are specifically engineered for that kind of long-term use, heavy use that you're going to do if you're going to be investing in a builder block. Because you're going to be cutting through multiple layers of fabric, um, the, these dies are actually thicker than the normal kind of dies that we'd have. So these these are fabric dyes are generally copper coloured or rose gold coloured and they're just deeper they're deep they're thicker they won't hurt you so you can push your hands against them and they're not going to cut you and um, it's the pressure of the machine that has there's like a little lip that pressures down on the machine that cuts the fabric but these are not the ones that come with your Gemini you can use your ordinary plates that come with your Gemini but they will wear they will mark now these ones you know you can see I've got some marks on them I use these every day um, they are really, really thick, much, much thicker in comparison to the um, other ones that come with your Gemini. So we're going to use those today. So we're going to use our clear plate first of all. Then we're going to use our metal plate. I'm going to take my fabric and I'm just going to, this one on here, I've got one, two, three, four, five layers of fabric here that's going to cut through fine. I'm going to put my square on there and I'm going to put my um, triangular a half square triangle up here and I'm going to use a tiny bit of tape um, low tack tape you don't have to I just find it's a little bit easier if I want to try and use up as much as my fabric as possible okay. um, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over and so I'm going to cut this side as well and you do find when you're using your Gemini you end up with less waste because mm. um, you can and more time and more time and also you know I've if I'm at home, I tend to fold my fabric first of all, and um, then I would give it a bit of a press, just so I can really minimise the amount of excess fabric that I'm sort of cutting away from. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier. So I've got a couple of little bit of tapes hit here. I'm going to put my um, metal shim over the top here, and then I'm going to put my clear plate over the top here. And then I'm just going to run it through the Gemini. Make sure I've got it switched on. It's always key. And you're just offering it into that little gap here. Um, now the pressure of the machine will cut through all the so layers of fabric. If you wanted to make this out of denim, it will cut through denim. Probably two layers of thick denim, I would have said. I haven't tried it. Now that little bang is quite normal. It's just where the rollers are going over the top of the dies. Now I'm, I'm 
always putting my dies in straight on onto my machine um, or onto my plates I shouldn't really do that because I'll stop if I did it at an angle it would stop that bang oh, it doesn't yes. hurt the machine mm -hmm. um, but if I had them at a slight angle it would just be easy because it means all the rollers are not coming off one particular mm. place in one go but it doesn't make any difference you will get that kind of crackling noise you will particularly get a crackling noise if you are using um, felt and it sounds a little bit like electricity and oh, it, but it's yeah. just the fibers of the felt that are coming through so you can see i've got all of those just cut here i've also got my squares as well that i've cut out and um, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start putting together my pieces um, and sew them together so i can show you how easy it is um, to use all of the different pieces um, and they were going to match perfectly so we're going to take i've already got some um, triangles that i've cut out in white um, i want to put these here right sides together now you can see here that matches up absolutely perfectly you couldn't even see there's another piece underneath now i know my quarter of an inch seam allowance is going to take me from that point here down to that point so that effectively that little piece here is going to be my quarter of an inch seam allowance and so this is the great thing about using the gemini in that everything is going to match together um, it's going to eradicate that sort of um, worry that you've not cut everything out quite perfectly because you'll know it's going to be perfect because you've cut using those dies um, and it's just going to make everything easy so as I say when I'm when I'm doing patchwork I tend to put all my pieces cut all my pieces out and I put them in um, takeaway containers um, just in front of me and then I know that I can just keep taking little bits and pieces from those different sort of boxes but if there's something where you've, you've not cut quite enough it's only going to take 18 seconds for it to run through the machine anyway and um, which is obviously going to make everything a lot easier so I'm just going to run this through the sewing machine now with a quarter of an inch seam allowance and then we will start putting this block together and you can see how it comes together really quickly Now, I'm just going to press this. So I'm going to use your lovely pressing mat, which I really mm -hmm. like. Yeah, I love the wool I'm pressing quite, mat. I'm quite tempted to have one of these. Oh, I can highly recommend it. It's really good for pressing on. Well, do you know, I tend to, I tend to sew up in my craft room and I don't actually have enough space for, I've got a little tiny travel iron, um, but I don't have space for a, um, a proper ironing board. So this would be ideal for me. Mm. And then we're just going to Only press 24 this. Only £24.99 as well. Yep. I'm just going to press that like so. And you can see that that is a perfect square now mm. here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start putting everything together. Um, so I've already pre-cut um, a lot of my pieces anyway. Um, so I know I need, uh, what do I need? I know I need, I said that with such authority, <laughs> I know I need, need. I need um, a piece, a squ white square, these are the white squares we cut out um, just a little bit earlier, um, and then we need um, a full square like this, and then I need um, a triangle like that, and then the next one I need two full squares here like that. And then um, is this pattern in the booklet, or is this no, just a this maple is just, leaf? This, this is just a maple leaf. I was thinking mm. about what I could do for. Um, I wanted something that was a little bit autumnal um, for the project, um, and I just thought, oh, this would this, this would be quite a good one. So mm. this is an, a prime example of one that is not in in your guide. But you, uh, this but is where because you're talking triangles and squares. Exactly. This is where yeah. you can start putting it together. So you can see on, on what I did for this piece here, I just cut a piece of fabric um, into a strip and I just um, stitched that along um, into that um, to make that little um, what's the word, little stem of mm. the leaf. Um, so all it is now is a question of sewing these pieces together um, to create that maple leaf. And, and you can see how quickly that's going to come together um, as a particular block. Um, so I will quickly um, rush through and do a little bit of sewing so you can see it from start to finish. And then I'll show you what I've done with the rest of the um, project. So I'm going to very quickly, I'm just gonna move that to one side and then I'll use my rotary cutter and I'll just cut a, a two inch strip. I think it was a two inch strip that I had there before. Two inches, two and a half inches. Let's go for two and a half inches, like that. 
and I'll just rub, um, just use my rotary cutter mm -hmm. to cut that. It must be two inches. To just looking at it to cut that little strip. Now, in the in the um, builder block plus that we've got coming next week, we have um, rectangles. We've got isosceles triangles and. I can't remember the last one. It will come with me, but you can. We've got it definitely in the booklet um, for that particular one. It shows you not only designs that you can make with um, that particular builder block, but once you add the, this block, this mm. builder block in um, with those ones as well, you've got loads of other different designs in there. So the idea is that, you know, this is like a it's like you know, years ago when you'd buy an encyclopedia. Right. You, you, yes. you, you know, eventually you're going to want all the pieces. If you ever watched Friends, when Joey could only afford to buy one one book from the encyclopedia and he went for V. Um, you know, it's very useful just to have the one, but it's even more useful if you can have Well, you can all build upon this, can't yes, you? Yeah. So once you've got your Gemini machine, then obviously you can cut out all the applique pieces, all yeah. different sorts of things, but you can then by the builder block system and then with the new additions to it yep. you can choose what you've got and then you just add more and we've had we have other builder blocks which we're going to be bringing mm. to you that have been designed by joe avery karen lewis oh, okay. um, with actual sort of projects inside them um, so they are sort of more i would say more unusual shapes they're not your standard shape um, but again you can you definitely use them you can mix and match everything together and um, so very quickly all i've done here i've just folded my fabric in half and then half again and I'm just going to put that diagonally across my square this is my white square and this is going to form that little um, little stem of the leaf and I'm just doing it by eye um, and then I'm just going to trim with my scissors down there like that and then I'm going to start stitching that together Okay. Um, I just wanted to let you know that the metal plates, so the ones that are ideal for fabric cutting because they're thicker, you can use um, your Gemini without them. It does come with a metal shim, but these plates are thicker. It means that you can cut more layers because you... If you want to cut, you know, eight layers, you can't even do that with a rotary cutter. These are great, but I just wanted you to let you know, $24.99, they are down to single figures at the moment. We're hoping to get some more in the future, but at the moment they are down to single figures. So if you do want to get those, because the Gemini machine is all about making your life, um, your sewing life quicker and simpler and more accurate. And by having these um, extra thick sheets, it means that you can cut more fabric layers in one go. So that just speeds everything up, doesn't it, if you're using the same fabric. And then don't forget about the Gemini machine. Yes, I mean, if you're, if you're thinking, I love the Builder Block system, but I haven't got a Gemini, well, you just need one of these. 179.99. It comes with all the different plates, so you can do paper cutting with it, as well as fabric cutting. Comes everything you need. You can even do embossing. You can emboss fabric. Amazing. Sarah showed me that last week. Um, that was fab. And it, this one, luckily, it does come today with three sets. So you've got the um, the jungle animals. Now these are, if you haven't seen these before, that you use fabric, you put fabric in and it will cut out all of these pieces so you can then use them to applique on things. So we've got the jungle animals, we've got the farm friends. So these are all little dies, again, that you put through your machine and you cut out. Um, you can applique them onto things, you can make a whole quilt with them. And then we've got animal friends and we have a packet fabric clip. So when you buy the Gemini machine today, then you will get the this Gemini system with the three free animal dies. Um, now, this is available on split pay. Three equal payments of $59.99. You pay one today and then the next one in a month. You will have finished paid for this by Christmas. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it will be sent to you straight away, so don't worry. You won't, it doesn't delay it and it's interest free, so it isn't going to delay when you get it. It just means that you can um, spread the payments and there are no credit checks. When you come to check out, whether that's online or on the phone, and they say, do you want split pay? You just say yes or no at that point. It's entirely up to you. And if you've already got your machine and you are loving what we're doing today, what Becky's showing you, this is 
the build a block system. Now, this is the first in the series, really. This is your basic shapes, your squares, your half square triangles, your quarter square triangles. You can make so much with this. It's amazing. We used to, we did some, um, we had cards. Remember those quilt packs of cards where you had, you could make all the different blocks. They'd be ideal for that. If you've got a quilt kit, you know, nearly all quilts use squares and triangles. Have a look, you can use this, you, because it's not just one size. They will, they, um, you can make blocks from three inches to 12 inches. And look at it, look how beautiful it is. It's got little drawers, it's like a chocolate box. And it's all labelled, half square, triangle, die set, square, die set, quarter square. I know, we say that all the time, don't we? So if I take the, um, one of the drawers out, in here, you've got all of the dies, and this is where you've got all of the different sizes. And they've been designed perfectly, haven't they? Because the point, the ears have been cut off. So inside here, if I take this out, because um, this one is already packaged, you've got the picture of what they are, and they've all got sizes on. So you've got one and a half, two and a half, two, three, all the different sizes are on there. And then the actual dies come in here beautifully packaged so that you know that they will always stay safe in the right place. So you just take out the tiniest one that you want or the biggest one and they're not sharp, they just have a little lip that cuts through the fabric. Yeah, it's just it's just pressure, it's not done by heat, there's no heat involved, you can't cut your fingers and also it has a sensor inside so that you can't roll your fingers either, which is quite handy, isn't it? So those are, the, those are just the quarter square triangles Right, okay, so I've really quickly just ironed, or just ironed, I haven't ironed, I've, well, I am ironing at the moment, I've just sewn that together. So you can see how quick that is, it does need a little bit of a trim where um, I've just sort of moved that little block slightly. Um, but you can see that that comes together really quickly. So what we've done here um, is we've created, so this is the main project that we were doing here. So this was a table runner. So you can see that that is that main part here. Again, just squares, um, half and square triangles. And that's all cut just with, with that, yeah. amazing. And it took me, I would say, it took me about... 20 minutes to cut everything oh wow something like that yeah yeah no and certainly no more than that and um, so it does make it really really quick and easy for you to do and um, so what we've done here on i've done it on a sort of slightly smaller scale um, for um just because it takes a you no know, takes a bit of time to put together um so we've done two of those those sort of um, maple leaves and then we've just done some white squares down the side and we've just done some colored squares um, to finish it off um, and then um, I've put some wadding on here and I've put some backing fabric here um, now what I used was our um, sprays our spray adhesives um, so we've got two spray adhesives um, neither of which have got um, tops for them at the moment um, because I've lost them um, but they've dropped them on the floor so we've got a permanent adhesive which is this one here and we have the repositionable one here um, so the repositional one has got blue, a blue lid, and this one has got an orange lid. But you can just see you've got. So we've you've, got them as a pack of two. Yeah. And if you've lost the lid like I have, um, you can see that you've just got a little um, strip of colour at the top of them, so you can identify. So which we've one got is. the re we've got them as a pack of two, fourteen pound thirty eight. The repositional one is um, like your five oh five spray. Yes, and it is five oh five spray. Yeah, it is exactly it is that. exactly <laughs> the same. It is made by the same people, it is 505. But then the permanent adhesive, that's different, isn't it? That's for when you want to keep things on permanently. Yeah, so that would be great. If you're gonna be using those little applique um, shapes here, mm. um, yeah, absolutely, I'd, I'd use that that sort of thing. Okay. Um, if, if you're just gonna be basting your um, you know, your, your, quilt. your quilt together, I would use a repositionable one. It's entirely So that's an you. amazing price. So you're getting the two cans for £14.38. Now, they should be over fifteen pounds, so you'll make a saving there. Um, but they are; they, it is the same as the five, the, the five oh five. They are available separately as well if you have a look on the website. But if you want to get the repositionable and the permanent adhesive, two tins for fourteen pound thirty eight. So all you would do is you just give it a bit of a spray. I'm not going to spray it in here because um, I'm okay everyone is just not, you know, we've, we should be doing mm. it in a well-ventilated space, but you just need to spray it on. And then um, I fold my fabric so I get everything in the right place. Um, and then I just fold half away, spray that half, place that bit down 
and then do the other side as well um, just because it makes it a little bit easier you can then make sure that you've got everything in the right place and um, so that's what I do with all of my quilts I don't tend to use pins anymore um, whereas before you know you used to use those little mm. safety pins they always found them a pain really really pain so this is really good for me not to have to worry about that now next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of um, binding around the outside and so I've already pre-cut this um, binding so I've just chosen some of the green fabric and um, so this is um, two and a half inches um, folded it in half and given it a bit of a press um, now I want to place it um, around the edge so I'm effectively I'm making almost like a mini um, I'm going to have like a table mat mm. kind of yeah, thing out yeah. of this, some, something along those kinds of lines. Um, so I'm going to look for my pins. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Do you know, it's one of those, it's been one of those days today. Look for my pins. And then I'm also going to be looking for my mitre tool, which I cannot find. I'm going to find it in a minute. Um, it's um, in order to, to create the, the, the mitre um, around the corners. So um, I've done a, a, a mitred corner around here as well. Um, it's entirely up to you how you want to do your corners. And the, the way I did this one, I just folded it over. I didn't do a proper mitred corner. It's almost like a faux mitred corner. Um, but you, and finishing off with a mitred corner is definitely the way to go. Um, and we have a little tool to help you do that. So what we're going to do first of all is I'm just going to pin my piece of binding fabric over the top now um, it does make it um, if you have a look um, as with everything we do have videos um, online to show you how to use our equipment so you can um, make sure that you ha have a look at and that. they're brilliant aren't they because it just means that when you get home you can have to take the time yeah. to sit and watch it and see you know and rewind bits and watch it again depending on you know where your skill level yeah. is but it's oh. a lovely resource to have on your website and we all learn differently don't we and yes. I think some people learn by watching something being being produced and other people learn by reading the instructions although I don't know many people that do learn just by reading the instructions but there are people that do that yeah um you know or, or if you're my husband you learn just by doing everything wrong no i don't <laughs> i like visual things but i can't i struggle to learn unless i've read it first do you yes oh, okay i like to do that as well yeah but i wouldn't i would struggle to learn if i just saw it yeah, I know. Mm. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, so what we've got here, we've got the mitre tool um, that we've we've had. If you've watched, um, I've had been on the show before um, with the mitre mm. tool. Um, so it's got different angles um, to do here. So if you had something with like a star kind of point angled, right, so um, you could you could 14 use fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, for that you could one use you all those different that. angles there. But we're just doing everything in square. So I'm just going to use um, the um, ninety degree angle. Um, here with this, the simplest one, the easiest one to use. So what we do is we pin um, everything to the top and then we use our mitre tool and we just line it up. Um, so we're, we're lining up the edge of the mitre tool according to the point that you're using, according to the angle that you're using. So we're using the right angle here. Um, and once I've got everything lined up, I'm just going to use my heat erasable pen and I'm just going to press that through so it makes a little mark here. And I'm going to do the same along this side as well. So once again, lining everything up, find that little point. And these little points are going to be the start and end points um, for my stitching. Um, and then I'm going to do the same with the other side. So I'm only going to do one corner at the moment. I'm not going to do the rest of it. But this is how um, I would use our mitre um, might at all in order to um, sort of finish everything off. We do also have um, a binding tool as well, um, which we've we demonstrated before, but I'm not going to use that on the show here today. But you've seen that being used once before as well. So I'll stitch along. So what do you do? How does the um, binding tool work then? So the binding tool, um, again, we've given you, um, we've we've tried to put make it as simple as possible. We've actually put the instructions on the tool. So okay, well, if you're anything good. like me who loses all the paper instructions and has to then keep downloading them in PDF to save them to my computer, you don't need to worry about that. So this is um, to ensure that when you're doing your, your binding, you've, when you come to join your binding together, you've oh, got a nice yes, angle yes. there. So completely, yeah, but it's for joining binding. That's great, yeah. actually, because that's quite tricky. It can be to yes. get a really nice finish to yes. it. Um, there's lots, again, lots of videos on online um, if you go to YouTube and put Crafters Companion um, binding tool you can see we've done loads of demonstrations using that and if you watch back I think I demonstrated it maybe a month ago uh, maybe six weeks ago and um, to show you how to use that as well but these are really good they're very sort of you no know, sort of um, 
innocent looking tools these mm. two things here but they're actually so really useful you, yes, yeah. Yeah. and that's often the case isn't it so the binding tool is there on the screen at the moment 6.99 and that really is a giant joining strips on the diagonal because you get a much better finish and effect if you join strips on the di diagonal but when you join the final strip on the diagonal as well so and then the mitering tool the one that becky is, is using at the moment that is used for mitering corners yeah whether they're a 90 degree angle corner or 60 degree or whatever you've got different corners there for that and that makes it, you know, if you've got a, a, a sort of shape, almost like a star, or you've got like a, a nice point to things, um, I, you would have really struggled trying to work out how to do a mitered corner, um, with, I think, before. You know, with um, a right angle, it's not, it's not so bad because you're mm. using an angle that you're used to seeing. Um, but it's a little bit harder when you've got a, a more difficult um, one there. So I'm just stitching along here until I get to the point where I need to stop and then um, I'm going to do the same with the other side here so I want to keep that piece of fabric out of the way so I'm just going to give that a, a clip here I'm going to do the same down this side as well so again folding my piece of binding fabric in half and I've given it an iron I just want a little bit of a tail on either end and um, so I just want to pin that in place like so and then I want to use this tool so I just put that do that there like that so I can get that nice angle before I pin it and I'm going to just line that up use my pen put that little mark just there and do the same down here now you do find sometimes that the binding stretches a little bit um, when you're um, you're stitching everything together and just be mindful of that when you're sewing you might need to stop a little bit further than that actual point or a little bit okay. earlier than that actual point yeah um, just because if it moves at yeah, all. yeah it does there was um uh, next next week when i'm in mm. um we're using the builder block plus um so the isosceles triangle rectangles and the other one which I just can't remember um, and um, we're going to do um, a four block um, cushion um, so we're going to do four different blocks and do a cushion with um, a concealed zip so we're going to be using zips on a roll um, and actually with the concealed zip it just um, I, I, I found a really great video and um, an e much easier way of doing a concealed zip than I've ever done before. Oh, okay, um, with a cushion, so not yeah. like an invisible zip, yeah. but a, a way of concealing a zip. Yeah, and it was. Oh, um, wow. And one of the things that the person on the video said actually was, um, you'll find everything just stretches. And um, she had a foolproof way of stopping everything from stretching as you're stitching it together. So um, I'm going to I'm going to impart her knowledge um, to <laughs> you. <laughs> um, but I mean, that, you know, that's how we learn, don't we? You oh, know, it you is. I know. People often say yeah. to me, "Oh, you've got so many tips." I went, yeah, but where do you think I get them from? <laughs> I stand here and I listen. Yeah, and actually, you know, you find um, bits of little nuggets of information mm. all over the place. Oh yeah, always, and that, and that's the great thing. But that's what I love about the sewing community is everyone is so generous. You know, yes. they share tips. Nobody ever would ever say, "Oh, you can't tell anyone that's mine." Cause yeah, it's not anyway. No, exactly. Right. So we're going to now fold this piece in half. So we're just folding up to that angle there, and I'm just going to finger press that here for the moment and I'm going to do the same on this side as well and then I'm going to just get the iron and I'm going to press that properly so just finger press that so just finding that halfway point here I was um, in a quilting shop a little while ago mm. and um, this lady was complaining about how many um, squares she had to cut out for a patchwork quilt she was doing so I I took the opportunity I wasn't <laughs> working but I said oh now do you know about this machine and she was like no I've ne never heard of it and I went oh no gave her my um contact details I said oh no or Facebook details I said oh you know no message me and we'll, we'll talk about it and I, I was talking to her about it and she was just like you're kidding me you're kidding me that there's something that exists that stops me from having to spend hours and hours and hours cutting all these 
rude word triangles mm -hmm. um, and she was just whether she brought one or not I don't know okay but actually she she hadn't realized that there was a, a simpler way of doing things she thought I was going to say well, why don't you just layer up 30 layers of fabric yeah. and cut it through with a rotary cutter. No, you just well, of course a Gemini you could machine. use one of those sort of um, electronic you know sort of scissors kind of things but you'd never get that accuracy would you no it just wouldn't, wouldn't happen so we've done that little um, mark here and I'm going to use my mitre tool and I'm just going to draw a line across here so this is the central line so this is basically halfway through that binding fabric now don't do it too quickly after you bind it otherwise your pen mark will just disappear um, because your fabric will be hot um, so we're just going to do that down here as well all the way along and that's obviously going to disappear anyway when we're using our iron mm. a bit later there we go now what we want to do is we want to make her um, fold this piece out of the way first of all like that and we want to find this point so this is your 90 degree point and what we're going to do is make sure I've got this all the right way like that I just fold that out of the way like so oops like that do it the right way why am I not doing it that's, that's the way I want to do it like that it's out the way and then we're going to um, take this angle and we've got a um, if you can see here on the white yeah. you've got a little dotted line here okay. and you've got a little dotted line at each one of those mm. angles and we just need to line that up against this um, this line here this line we've drawn and we want to make sure that this point at the very edge of this um, piece of the mitre tool where this 90 degree angle is is just a part just be beyond the sewing line so we've done the stitching line down here if you can see that we just want to bring that in like so and I'm going to draw a line like that now what we're going to do is we're going to take these two pieces of binding fabric and I'm going to this is my quilt I'm just sort of folding that away and then what okay. I want to do is line that up I'm going to put a couple of pins in it and then I'm going to stitch along this angle here mm. and that's going to create that mitered edge for me and the, when you were saying about the Gemini which obviously we've got on the show with the um, the, those little yes. um, yeah. what's the word I'm looking for those dies it, it, does, it does come with dies in there anyway so the box of the Gemini will come with a, like a starter pack of oh, okay. um, dies so you'll be getting dies for paper craft you'll be getting multimedia dye mm. as well you're getting embossing folder as well in the pack um, so, yeah, yeah, you so get when you buy the machine 179.99 yep. so you get a starter pack of dies yep. and the embossing um, plate as well as all the plates that you need and the three packs of PK dies so this is great so in order to be able to use the builder block system which um, Crafters and Companion are obviously building on because there's another system coming up tomorrow you need the Gemini machine and this is the beauty of the Gemini machine is that it enables you to cut piece so accurately because you've got applique dies you've got patchwork dies there is so much when you if you have a look we've got lots of them on our, our website so the big patchwork and the builder block set that we're doing that um, Becky's been demonstrating today <coughs> is this lovely builder blocks site and I love the set because it comes in these little drawers it's all labelled you've got all of these blocks that you can cut three up uh, three inch to twelve inch blocks of all of them so you can create big blocks small blocks basically it's all your triangles all your squares because you've got half square triangles and quarter square triangles and there are so many different things you can make obviously you will need the gemini system before as well but i know that loads of you've got that so this is your the next system and um, the quilt behind becky has been made using this system and you can see you can cut up to eight layers and they're absolutely perfect as well they come with all the dog ears cut off even better but they're all blocks we recognize you can see the card trick there there's the basket of flowers there's the hunter's star it's um 
and you can create them any size from three inches to 12 inches so you can create a beautiful heirloom sampler quilt from your stash and this just makes it quicker and easier and simpler to do it really does i mean yeah. it was um i i tended to do very simple blocks when i was quilting because i was a bit nervous about trying something a little bit different um this so, sort of opened everything up mm. and like i said you know actually a square i mean it, it's the easiest thing for you to cut but actually it's still quite difficult it's still a pain in the neck to get it accurate well it's you've the got quantity to get it right. of them as well yeah, isn't it it's, it's when you want to cut eight ten squares yeah. it takes time and you can layer up i don't tend to lay up two sometimes if i've got lots of things to cut i might layer three but even then the bottom one will slip exactly and you know this you know then especially if you've got precious fabric you know, yeah, like if you're using expensive yes. fabric you want to make sure it's accurate it's every single on. time um yeah that's definitely something that um and it's just opened up a, it's opened up more of a, a world of different mm. designs that you can possibly do um so what i've done um i've stitched um, to that point oh, across okay. here yes yeah um, and I've just trimmed off the fabric um, around here and I'm just going to turn that round and I've given it a bit of a press but it needs a, obviously a better press and you can see you get that little mitered corner around the edge um, and then you just need to um, hand stitch this binding onto the back also however and that was using do. the mitre tool and that you yeah. can use for doing just the standard right angle ones there but also different angled mitering as well yeah so you can you can see and you can make inverted mitres mm -hmm. as well very easily um, so you can definitely do all sorts of different things and if you're looking at doing like a kind of star shape for Christmas mm. uh, maybe you've got like a, um, a few stars in, as a table runner uh, you want to do the binding this is an absolutely perfect tool and you'll see on the website and um, there are videos for every type of mitered oh, okay. corner on there so we do inverted ones we do the different angles so once as well. you've got the mitre tool go on to the yep. Crafters companion website and just watch the tutorials and the great thing about that is you've always got it there haven't you so you can just rewind it watch it again go well i understood that bit but not that bit yeah so start again and then you can follow it at your speed as well so you get a free tutorial with every tool absolutely you do yeah no, that's definitely the case so all i would do here to carry on um, is carry on doing the different pieces of the binding in exactly that same way and um, so that's creating a sort of smaller um, version of this um, but this is just as you can see now squares half square triangles mm -hmm. and they are all the things that you can make all those shapes are the shapes that you can cr create and produce using that main builder block system and each month we'll be bringing you a different builder block and we'll be showing you the types of things you can mm -hmm. make with it so yeah really well worth doing and quick you know i could i made this i think this took me roughly a day i would have said more or less whilst watching the tv oh, okay. so you know probably half a day if i was actually concentrating but actually really quick and that included doing the hand stitching around yeah, the yeah it's lovely the it's really good and obviously you know even things like the little border cutting up the yeah. squares to go around that is easy isn't it absolutely that definitely is um shall i show you how um the difference on cutting the with the gemini yeah, yeah. with the fabric plates versus the ones that we get yes, with the machine yes, okay yeah, um, so you can idea. see the difference in that i'll bring you the um, machine back so the fabric plates on their own have sold out. But you do get plates with the machine, so yep. don't worry that you do get them anyway. It's just to do with the layers, that's all. Yeah, and I think the plates are just below yes, you. Yes, they are. Um, so they, you can absolutely cut with, thank you very much, with the plates that you get with the machine, um, but they are a little bit different. So you can see here, this, um, this is the metal shim now you can see this is much thinner than that metal um sh the metal plates i showed you earlier and 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 it is marked so we've only run this through one two three four five, probably seven or eight times this has been used for cutting it, it, it'll still work perfectly well but it will look like as sarah says the roadmap of great britain um, by the time you've used it so if you're going to be using the builder block you're going to invest the money in the builder block it's worth investing the money in these plates because they are going to last a lot longer so you're going to be getting this with your um gemini you'll be getting two clear plates which look not as not as marked as this because this is one that we use and um, you'll be getting your magnetic shim here you'll be getting your embossing folder which is like a silicon kind of mat and you'll also be getting your um, frosted plastic um, shim as well now um, you can use these um, for 
um, fabric, you can use them for paper, you can use them for cards, you can use them for tin, you can use them for all sorts of different things. This one um, is only ever used for embossing. So basically, if you're not going to do any embossing, just put that to one side. The magnetic shim um, is generally used for paper craft. Um, so if you're only going to be using um, your Gemini for fabric, um, or you think, we'll just pop it to one side. Um, it, it's, quite, it's very useful. And um, sometimes if you've got very fine fabric that you're going to put through your Gemini, you might mm. use it this just as the extra sh space. Oh, Okay. You know, because yeah. you want you need to make sure that the the width of the things going through the Gemini are going to be sufficient for it to cut. Um, so yeah. So if you were cutting lawn or voil or something, exactly, you might want to put this in right. there as well. Um, but, but generally speaking, what we use for doing fabric is we use our two clear plates, and those are the ones that go on the outside of the, the sandwich. These are your bread, right. as it were. And then you've got um, your metal shim. Um, which is here and you've got this clear plastic shim so what we would do is I'll grab a few bits of fabric so we can cut those out let's go for some of this um, so I will fold this over and we'll see how many we can cut um, through this so that is two four six eight that's eight layers of fabric that we're going to cut here and so I've just roughly folded that. I'm not going to do too much on that. So clear plate, metal shim, the um, fabric, and you want the die facing downwards. So basically where that cutting edge is, which is not sharp, which is like the little lip of this die, that needs to be going into the metal. So we talk about um, you know, cutting, when you cut with scissors, it's metal against metal and that's what makes it cut mm. into things. So you want the die to go into the metal shim. Right. If you have it going the other way round, you'll find that you get your die sort of stuck inside your plastic yes and we've all done it sense. and you can probably see it someone's done it on this one okay um, we've, we've all done it um so don't worry you're in good company so we're going to put that one there we'd also do the little triangle um here as well and we want a little bit of tape um, just to make sure that they stay in the same place. You don't have to take them, but I find that um, it, it's easier, then it's a little bit more predictable. So the last thing you want to do, especially like we were saying, you know, if you've got expensive fabric, and fabric isn't, isn't cheap, um, when you compare it to paper or card, you know, you do want to make sure that you're getting it in the right place. So we're just going to pop that tape there, and we're taping onto that metal shim. We're going to pop your clear plate over the, or the plastic shim over the top, and then we're going to do a clear plate over the top of that. And then that's going to go through the machine. So this is eight layers of fabric. It, it might cut eight. Um, I think it's unlikely to cut eight because we're not using our fabric plates. Right, We're just okay. using our ordinary plates here. But we'll see. We'll see how it comes out. Um, but if you're using your fabric plates, because they are you no know, two sort of strong things of metal, plates of metal, they have been made um, to ensure that those, um, you know, you get sort of eight layers of fabric cutting out anyway. Oh, oh, you might be lucky. So let's have a look. Oh, we've nearly cut them out. Nearly okay. cut all those layers so out. So using the extra metal plates, yeah. you can definitely cut eight. If you Absolutely. use one to get the machine, you can probably get six. Yeah, something like so that. that's great. Yeah. So you've still got all those, so I did two, four, six, I did eight layers of fabric, you've got sort of six layers okay. um, coming out here. But you can see that they're all cut um, with, um, with your dies, so they um, are all going to match. So they're going to line up, so if I put that square and that yeah, triangle perfect. next to each other, you can see that yeah. they are I'm going to work beautifully together. And that sort of, that, the fact that you're eradicating that sort of problem um, makes it really sort of easy to use. Um, and then you can see, obviously those two triangles don't match up perfectly because you've got the quarter of an inch seam allowance. If you put them together like that, you would see once you've stitched them together, they will match up perfectly with that square. Amazing. Well, thank you so much, Becky. Thank it's you. been brilliant. Lovely work in these It's really look great to learn about the the build a block system. Yep, it's, it's it, really good. It, it will change the way you you quilt. It will definitely. So the machine itself, the um, Gemini machine, £179.99. Remember that comes with all of those different plates. Um, it does come with a starter set of templates already for cut from dies for cutting. Yeah. Um, and you also get the free three free um, applique dies as well, the, the three lots of animals. So you've got the farm animals, the animal friends, and the jungle animals, um, and the fabric clips. The build a block system, that's 20 pounds off. So obviously you need the Gemini machine for that, but it's absolutely fantastic. It's 79.99.
and you can cut so many different blocks with it as long as your block is squares and triangles it's all in there and this is the start of the system so next week craft companion are bringing out another one as well that will build on this so your quilting life will be more accurate and quicker and it just eradicates all that um boring boring rotary cutting business so for I, some i know there's a lot of people who love it but i feel the same way i find mm. it i find it boring i like the sewing, the putting sewing it together, together bit. Yep. so um, but thank you so much so you're thank gonna you. be back next week Becky. i'm back on tuesday oh, no okay. uh yeah tuesday and wednesday oh wow okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with the new or system wednesday wednesday and Thursday, I can't quite remember now. I'm going on holiday. My brain's, my oh, brain, my well, brain's already so something. <laughs> Lovely seeing you. Um, I will be back with you in a few minutes' time. We have got a wonderful selection of Christmas fabrics. Did I mention Jason Yenta? This has been selling all morning. Brand new Jensen Yenta Christmas fabric. It's absolutely gorgeous. We've got other Christmas fabrics and we've got some Christmas kits too. Because it is really only the beginning of October, there's still plenty of time. So don't go anywhere and I'll see you back here in a few minutes' time. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. 
Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Uh, welcome to Back to Sewing Street. If you've only just joined me, it's our Christmas hour. We've got Christmas fabrics and we've got Christmas kits. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, we have been waiting all morning for these Jason Yenta fabrics. They are beautiful. So there's a collection of fabrics. Now, this is great. This is all available by the half metre. So we haven't got any bundles, but everything is available by the half metre. And they are brand new, brand new to us today. Right, this was not a panel, but it looks like it has stripes now this is available by the half meter so you know that means that you can buy it um, where it's cut to order so if you have a look at the way it stripes look it stripes so the stripes run parallel to the salvage uh, table runners table runners quarter of the stock went already on pre-order shall I put it on the table so you can have a closer look because it is beautiful so you could cut it in stripes, you could cut it in borders if you want. Now remember, because the stripes run parallel to the selvage, then the, the, when you, if you buy it so it's cut to order, you will just get more and more stripes there. Let me just move something. But the Liz and the colour, I really like the colour palette. It's sort of traditional and modern. So you've got your traditional red, greens and whites, but then you've got these more modern stripes of the black and the blue. It's really stunning. And Jason Yenta's fabrics are always gorgeous, aren't they? They're layer upon layer upon layer. So they are very three dimensional. Well, they have that feel because of the way he draws them. They're not, they have a feel of layering. They're beautiful. But there's so many things you could do. With this. I mean, I think a table runner would look amazing in this, wouldn't it? Gorgeous. Anyway, seven ninety nine, seven ninety nine for half a meter of that one. And remember, it is cut to order. So if you want more, it will be sent as a whole piece. Um, next one. Right, I love this one. This is because again, I love it because it's traditional Christmas. Oh. Do you need the code? <laughs> Guess. No, no, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you the code. I can't find it. It is. Well done, Hannah. I lost the code. 
It's been a long morning. Right. What I love about this one is it's traditional because it's holly, but you've got Jason Yen to spin on it. It's got movement. The holly is like just wheeling round almost. It's moving in the wind and it's got his layers. So underneath, when you look really closely, you can see you've got a really nice like ivory background and then you've got these monochrome ivy leaves, um, ivy, holly leaves. I don't know where ivy leaves, where I got that from. Holly leaves underneath. And then you've got the full holly leaves on top and then the berries as well. And the berries are coloured in such a way that the dark and the light pieces look like they're shimmering. But it's got movement, so it's like your really traditional cotton fabric. But really but nice for Christmas party skirt. Because you know you often like, when you have to wear your Christmas party top and it's a jumper and it's too hot because you're inside this. Wouldn't that be lovely? Because it's very swirly, isn't it? But I'm thinking Christmas napkins. Get some plain red fabric to bind them with. And then napkins in that, absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Little gift bags, perfect for that. Because it is a really traditional fabric, but it has that Jason Yenta touch to it. So it feels extremely realistic. 7 99 for half a metre. Get, pop it in your basket. Please do keep checking out for them. They are brand, brand new today. Um, well done if you got them on pre-order. This one is DEUQ76. Winter Blooms. This is one of the most popular on pre-order. Now, again, again, this is traditional Christmas foliage, but with the Jason Yenta twist. You've got the layers. I mean, it's almost like he's a florist. You know, a, he does the displays. He's got the layers. And, I mean, the... But the quality of the fabric print. But you know, it, sometimes, you know, when you get like a square tablecloth and then you put that in the center of a bigger white tablecloth where it looks so lovely, doesn't it? So, you know, when you've got in your hall, you've got one table and then you put this as a, the center tablecloth. But look at the layers and even the, um, the fur on them, the fir trees, absolutely accurate and down to the tiny sepals in the front in the center of the christmas roses and the mistletoes less than 10 meters of this available i mean it has beautiful detail to it and look at the mistletoe i love this you but you think of your christmas homewares that you're going to make uh, even you know little bags would be beautiful wouldn't it because it is it's a, such a quality print and it's a beautiful design it's the sort of thing that looks luxury doesn't it um and the idea someone had earlier about christmas crackers wouldn't they look amazing in this there are loads of different patterns around for fabric christmas crackers you know they last all year every year from year to year to year wouldn't it be lovely to make them from this gorgeous but even a christmas dress as well quite fancy making a christmas dress that is beautiful isn't it it's delicate it's detailed but it is just full-on traditional christmas now 7.99 for half a meter it will be cut to order so if you want more than half a meter then you can please do get it in your basket and check out right this one i love this one so now this is the same as the other one look how beautiful let me show you what it looks like with its partner I'd want to get the bit without a sticker. Look at that. So it's the same print, but it's monochrome. Well, it's monochrome means two, isn't it? But it's green and with the brown. So, I mean, isn't that beautiful? And if you were making things where you wanted that double layered matching set idea, I mean, the detail is beautiful. It, it is exactly the same print. But one is coloured in and wasn't is. But this is like botanical drawings. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's precise. It's classy. I think that's gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, things like little gift bags. You know, imagine, you know, on your table, you make some, you can just put a couple of little chocolates in them. But if you've got a white tablecloth and you've got little gift bags made from that, really gorgeous. But even... Um, but even cushions, how about cushions? Because do you know what? I think it, when it's in the monochrome, it's not so full on Christmassy. You could put a bit of binding around the edge, a bit of covered piping in red or green. I mean, it would look stunning, wouldn't it? I love that one. I think um, 
when you look at it well, it's on a small picture on screen, it's not anything like, you know, I love the coloured in one, but this one is really stunning, isn't it? 7 99 for a half a metre. Again, you know, it's your partner print, isn't it? And what I love about all of the fabrics in this collection, um, we've got one, two, three, four, we've only got six of them. They all go together. So if you're looking to make, maybe you're thinking I'm going to make a Christmas quilt or a small Christmas wall hanging, all of these fabrics go together in terms of print and colourway. Less than 10 metres left in stock of this one. Um, we won't be getting any more, obviously, because we won't be ordering more before Christmas. So when it's gone, it's gone. And it is beautiful. I mean, they're lovely. And when you look, I'll show you, I'll have to show you at the end how they look together. I mean, I would love to have made a Christmas quilt with these. But when you put them together, I haven't finished either. I've got another two. But look at those three together. Half a metre of each Christmas tree skirt. You can just see that, can't you? Yeah, Christmas tree skirt in wed, beautiful. Um, let me show you this one because this goes again beautifully with the others. It's like, it's almost like the same design, but bigger. Look at that, in fact, I'm just... Well, you've got the poinsettia. I mean, it features the poinsettia, doesn't it? And isn't that, again, it's Jason Yento, isn't it? He puts a pop of blue in. Beautiful, isn't it? It needs that blue. And it ties in then with this striped one that I showed you earlier. It's got that pop of blue. So you've got the poinsettias, you've got the Christmas roses, the furs, the mistletoe, absolutely gorgeous. And when you look at it with the other prints, it goes really well. Now, this would be great. You could use that as it is. I think that would make the most beautiful Christmas tablecloth. I mean, it, it, you know, when you look at it, if you went and bought a Christmas tablecloth with that kind of print on, it cost an absolute fortune. But you could also use the centres for cushions as well. But it would give your um, Christmas table that real sumptuous, glorious look. So you could, but you could use that for the centre of a block, couldn't you? I mean, it's like a whole display, like an arrangement. It's just beautiful, isn't it? And then what's lovely, if you did use that and you wanted to use the block, you've then got these other little sprigs in amongst it as well. Really lovely though, isn't it? But you could use it for your Christmas cushions. Or make your Christmas apron with it, but just put it on after you've cooked. You don't want to get that one dirty. And then there's one more, which is this one. Now, this is exactly the same as the one I've just showed you, but it's night time. Christmas in night time rather than Christmas in daytime. See, exactly the same, but doesn't it look different? Suddenly, the colours pop loads more. And I'm thinking that one's got, oh, this one had snowflakes on it as well, but because they're white, look, let me show you. If you look at this one really carefully, the white one, you can see here and there that it has got the snowflakes on it. Yeah, so can you see there? It's got the snowflakes all amongst the background, but they're very subtle. But when you put it on the black, you can see all of them. Absolutely stunning. Actually, maybe this one's better for your Christmas tablecloth because then it wouldn't matter if people spilled the gravy on it, would it, so much? Don't know. Don't know. But lovely together. Beautiful together. I mean, these are gorgeous. The whole collection, obviously, goes together. It's really lovely. All of the prints, beautiful. So if you were thinking you wanted to make, like... Um, Dresden plate, Christmas tree skirt, something that's in wedges like that. The whole collection goes together in terms of colour, print, scale and feel. Let's put that one on. Now they are all seven, nine, half to metre. We haven't done them as a bundle um, because we, well, we just thought that you might want them separately or we're going to use them for different things. So they're not and for dressmaking, so you want them by the half metre, but um, that's what they all look like together, so you can see the whole range. If you want to see them individually, do go onto the website, because we've got individual photos of them so that you can see them there. If you want more than a half metre, just pop the number of units you want in the basket, it will be sent to you as a cut piece. Right, 
let's move on to extra wide backing now i love a bit of extra wide backing but why shouldn't you have a um christmas well it's not christmas it's winter winter extra wide backing snowflakes so the good thing about extra wide backing it doesn't we call it backing it's extra wide fabric it doesn't need to be used for backing but it is so wide this is Christmas bed linen, isn't it? That's half of the width, by the way. It's two and a half times your normal, yes, your normal fabric width. So it is 274 centimetres, which is 108 inches. Now, our backing fabric is normally 12.99 for half a metre. But not today. Really? 10.99, that's amazing. So I'm thinking, right, use, take advantage of the full width, make some Christmas bed linen, make your Christmas tablecloth, something that you need that full width for, line a curtain, it, I mean, it doesn't have to be Christmas, it's more wintry, it's snowflakes and stars. Or, so, because it's 10.99, it's two and a half times your normal fabric width, make the use of the saving, make your Christmas gift bags, lots of Christmas cushions. If you're making stuff, maybe you're doing something for a Christmas fete or a stall, you think of what you're gonna get on that. You get, um, you get so much, don't you? Absolutely loads here. So this is brilliant value. Because normally, um, you know, our con fabric, like with the Jason Yen, is $7.99. Maybe it'd be about $6.99, this fabric. Well, you're getting $10.99 for two and a half times that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So, obviously, perfect for quilt backing, but just think of all the other things you can do with it. Think of Christmas bed linen. You can make a double, a king-size bed with this with this width and that's beautiful isn't it um or maybe you want a special runner for the bed at christmas i mean and it, it is more you've got a black background and it's got snowflakes printed all over it in blues and white so it doesn't it's not christmasy it's more wintry gorgeous though isn't it a good for a christmas tablecloth because nice and dark as well you can have, have as a center so anyway that's the black one third of the stock's gone not surprised that's your little saving hannah 10.99 bargain lovely but um you know and depending on what quilt you're making if you want to use it for a backing there we go so this is the same same pattern but navy so maybe you want to make a quilt what a great way to buy some extremely inexpensive fabric 10.99 this has got a lovely dark navy background all the snowflakes are printed on it in shades of royal blue and turquoises and whites as well it's lovely isn't it? those blues are beautiful very soft very icy as well so if you're thinking about um backing something this is a great idea because it will go with any of the blue quilts you're making more than having something plain but really good also think of your Christmas gift sacks you know when you want to make you've got all of these presents for somebody or you've got a big present make a drawstring bag really simple just sew it together down the sides put a casing at the top length of ribbon through and you could have all of these under your tree yours will be the best presents and you can bring them out year on year or people love to keep them then they've got a drawstring bag so maybe you've bought a kit for somebody for Christmas Make a little drawstring bag from it. And this is the um, least expensive way of doing it, I think, when you're buying this extra wide as well. Now, this one is beautiful. It's the same design, but it's icy and fresh. And obviously, it's 10 99 Now, this has got a really lovely crisp white background. The snowflakes are printed in a lovely turquoise. We've got shades of lime green and some soft purples as well. And little spots all over it. It's interesting how the design is the same for all of the fabrics, but when you see the different colourways, different things show up. So that's just really pretty. It's very icy Christmas, isn't it? Well, it's icy, isn't it? Third of the stock of this is in baskets. If you want this, you need to get this check out. Remember, it's available by the half metre, so it will be cut to order. So if you're thinking, well, I know I've got quite a few gift bags to make, I'll order a couple of metres, just put four units in your basket. But that is really, really pretty, isn't it? I think um, if you make Christmas gift sacks with that, they would be lovely. But again, it doesn't have to be Christmas. can just be wintry. Nativity. So, um, oh, he's sitting on the shelf. 
Then no, I'm going to put. Oh, you fraud! Jesus is on the floor. I oh, know you find the mangers on the floor. So, do you fancy making your own nativity scene that um, you can keep going from year to year to year? So, this kit. Well, I'm just going to take them all out. They'll all have to be homeless for a minute. Um, in, on, in the kit, on the panel, I'll show you the panel in a minute, you get everything you need to make the stable. So you get all the pieces to make the front and the back and the inside. Look, the inside is like flagstones with straw on. Even the base has got straw. You've even got the tile. It they looks like a proper wooden stable. It's a bit, this one's been sat in a box, so it's a little bit creased. Would, yours won't look like that. But it looks like real wood, doesn't it? There's the back of it. Um, then you get all the pieces to make all the people. So we've got Mary. Ah, Mary's holding Jesus. I thought he'd fallen out of the manger. So you get Mary. He's just fallen over. And Joseph. And on the bottom of them, they've got little feet. Mary has no shoes. Whereas I think Joseph looks like he's got a pair of Dr. Martins on. Um, there's an angel with wings, little hands. Um, there's, oh, the angel has no shoes. She's bare feet. Um, then we've got three wise men with feet. All the men have shoes and the women. Um, and then we have two shepherds and there are even pieces. So these are just, um, all the pieces, I'll show you the panel here, they're all stuffed and then there's a little bit of weighted filling in them that just holds them together. And there's even the pieces to make the little manger so that you can put Jesus in his manger or you can put him in Mary's arms because there, there's a little space between her arms so that you can put him in there. And then they all go in the nativity so they all fit inside so you can create a scene, um, you can have it on your shelf, it's a lovely thing, children love to play with it, they like to arrange it all but it's very easy to, it's very easy to use. I have one at home and I have it on my windowsill and you can move the people around. I've got, you can put the angel at the top, I've even put some little um, fairy lights around mine. Let me show you. <laughs> It's a lovely thing to have in a church or in a school and because it's fabric. So let me show you the, I mean, the panel for $24.99. Look at the size of the panel. There we go. So in the, on the panel, you've got all of the pieces. So all of those pieces of the stable, they're all there. Um, there's Jesus. We've got the manger sides, all of the um, edges of the, the stable is built. You need to have um, the bosal or the styleville with it. And then all of the edges are then bound and these all the edges to bind. You know, it, it takes time to make, but each little section isn't complicated. It's just, there's lots of sections. So here is the whole stable. Can you see? There's the whole stable. And then there's, there's every person. So, you know, it's a lovely thing to make. It you know, you've got, the, um, there's the shepherd. So here's the shepherd. You've got his front, his back, his sides. You've got his arm pieces, and then you've got his base. So you just piece it all together bit by bit. But the detail on it, look at all the straw on the stable floor. So the kit comes with full instructions and this massive panel, $24.99. It's the sort of thing that you make and you will keep forever and ever and bring out and everyone goes, where's the nativity? Oh, Liz has sent us a picture. I've recently made up the nativity panel and added gifts for the kings and lambs for the shepherds. What a good idea. That's a very good idea. You make it your own, you can personalise it, you can add more. Once you've worked out how to do the people, you can just add more to it, can't you? It is a, a, a lovely thing. It's a really nice thing to bring out year after year after year as well. So I just put that out of the way. What's next? Oh yeah, do please do keep checking out for that. Yes, you can use Bosal for it. Let, oh, where's either will be fine um you need i mean it's a big instruction booklet as well you need 50 by 72 centimeters so half a meter is absolutely fine of the body of the um 
foam interface no yeah 50 by 72 you need a little bit of normal interfacing and some wadding it's not much so you need 30 by 30 centimeters of interfacing 10 by 10 centimeters of wadding and that's it really so once you've got the foam interfacing but there's the instructions have lots of um photos and i've gone through it very very much step by step so that you can see exactly things like mitering the stable i've done really step by step so you can see exactly how to do it it's all in there a lovely thing to make if you start it now it'll all be done this one the red one christmas morning um i've got a motor charm pack christmas morning only been on air once before these are 10 by 10 inch squares there are 42 of them it's a layer cake uh, it's called Christmas morning so let me see what's the color palette oh we've got beautiful you know that lovely sagey like ivy green uh, we've got spots and stripes and colors and uh, words I mean colors <laughs> lots of colors words um, and then we've got the same prints in um, a neutral this is lovely if you're making like a few little Christmas makes again you can make one gift bag with each of these 42 gift bags um, doves but it's really pretty isn't it we've got stripes and spots and teal I like that one that's like almost like a cross stitch star pattern beautiful I like the red here as well it's a real proper like pillar box red but it's very moda it's almost like Moda has its own red colour palette. That's really pretty. So this is called Christmas Morning. Oh, I like the, um, that's a bit almost Scandi, isn't it, with the little dove? And then we've got the zigzag stripes. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? So your whole colour palette is where well, you can see it on the front are these lovely reds with these blues as well and the, the pinky colours and the greens are really, really nice. So 39 99 you are getting 42 um 10 inch piece squares of fabric and that is all the fabrics from that collection so that you know they all go together you know there are loads and loads of different designs if you're thinking about making a christmas quilt this is ideal right then we've got another 10 inch charm pack this again is by moda it's called the red barn christmas um oh we can reduce that one a little bit of reduction yeah oh <gasps> no way she just told me what it was. Twenty nine ninety nine, ten pounds off. That's amazing. I love this one because I like all the writing on it. So we we've got um, a really lovely dark. It's not black. It's like a dark charcoal. And you've got little crosses and stripes and words. And then you've got words there. And then you've got the same in, in green. So you've got little stripes. You've got a lovely like an argyle. You've got little mistletoe berries, words, twenty nine ninety nine. Uh, you've got little red barns, and again, you've got the crosses. Ten pounds saving, and this is Moda for Christmas. I can't believe this is the sort of saving we do after Christmas. <laughs> and you've got all the words there. It's so lovely, isn't it? And the red and again you've got the argyle in the red so it's again it's your beautiful traditional christmas color palette of charcoal red and that lovely fur sort of evergreen green you are as well please do keep checking out love that one there are less than 20 of these now it is only 29.99 you are getting 42 10 inch squares 42 and then it's moda absolutely beautiful if you've got an idea for a little quilt that you want to make or something only 13 of these left please do keep checking out for that 29 and we um one one is gone is gone we won't be getting any more christmas fabric in like this down to single figures 29 29.99 remember you've got a beautiful green it is a proper traditional christmas green and um, well, if we've got any left, otherwise that price was only till midnight tonight. Hannah's only allowed to reduce it till then. Twenty nine ninety nine. I love this um, Argyle check we've got here. Isn't that really lovely? You've got the charcoal, the red and the white. 
there's so much you can make with this. And the thing is, is if you make something with the whole pack, you know it's all going to go together. The colour palette, the prints, the style. Look at that tiny herringbone check. So you've got a lot of low volume prints as well as these much high, higher ones. Last six of these. The stars are brightly shining. Oh, now Sang is singing. I'm not going to sing. I'd sound terrible. But you sound lovely, Hannah, but I wouldn't. Look at the little barns. This is designed by, it's called Red Barn Christmas. Look. There's little barns. And I love this one. Tiny little red and um, green crosses. You can use this for so many of your makes, even if you don't use the whole panel together. What does that one say? Douglas fir, Virginia pine. Right, £29.99. Um, only, only two left. Quickly, if you've got them in your basket, get them checked out because we've only got a couple left. Tins. Um, I haven't got any tins. Have we got any tins, Cam? That's my fault because I got everything off the trolley and put it on the... On the I got it all off the trolley and put it on the table. Oh, well, we could do the tins. Hmm? Oh, we could do the tins, because the tins have just flown in. <laughs> I love these. Oh, let me get them out. Get them out of the box. Oh, what would you put in here? I'll tell you what, gift card. This is brilliant for a gift card. The poinsettia tin is brand new. Moda, look at that. But you buy someone a little gift card. Oh, there's the inside. It's red. And there's the back. Fancy that, it says. Um, but if you bought someone a gift card, because you know those people are really hard to buy for, and then you think, oh, I don't know what to put it in, or they might lose it if I put it in a card, put it in a tin. Uh, make peppermint creams. Yeah. Or if you're travelling, you know, and you want to put like a little travel sewing kit in it, a few pills, anything that you need to put there, contact lenses, um, nice in your sewing kit. I mean, they're so lovely, aren't they? Well, it's five ninety nine. Also, you know, you could just put this in someone's stocking. Yeah, sorry, I'm on to the next one. I like Peace on Earth. See, look, we've got a collection of them. I love Peace on Earth. I quite like the tin as well. Um, Peace on Earth. But you could put this in the stocking, fill it with um, chocolate coins, couldn't you? Or, you know, depending on who you're giving it to, you could put some little tea bags in it, couldn't you? That would be nice. So we've got the poinsettia, we've got Peace on Earth. Um, we're over that one now. We've got so much to get through, we've only got 10 minutes left. Have the holly jolly Christmas, but look at the back of this one. It's like socks. I like that one. Real, it's so retro, isn't it? What would you put in your tin? There's a question. Oh, what would I put in my tin? Licorice, Pontefract cakes, they're my favourite things. Even above, even above mint crumbles, which is saying something. Bon mm, yeah, well, actually, I, I struggle to say my favourite things. Love a Pontefract cake, but it's just really lost. I love the fact it's that really buttery cream background and it's really vintage. Um, 5 99 Can I move on to the last one? We have four. And then you're going to have to choose. This is like um, vintage Christmas cards, isn't it? Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Again, this is brilliant for gift cards. Did you like my Father Christmas impression? It's good, wasn't it? Um, love the green. It's very much like that um, layer cake we had, isn't it? The reds and the greens, it's that sort of colourway. But what a lovely little gift. Or maybe you've got a secret Santa. Buy them this and put something in it. Yeah. You you could keep your batteries in there, all sorts of different things. Or those little pegs, you could use it. You know, those t I have tiny wooden pegs that I pin my Christmas cards to a string with. You could use it for that. So let me just show you them all. There you go. Have them all, because they're so lovely. And they'll go together, don't they? Have them all, because they're so lovely. The, this one, poinsettia, brand new today. Ho, ho, ho. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Peace on earth or the poinsettia. That's the brand new one. Tubs. 
Um, right, I have also got the bundle of the Amber Make storage basket. So in the bundle, you get three panels and you get one set of instructions. So you save, can't remember how much, um, 10 pounds. You save 10 pounds by buying them all three together. So each panel makes a set of storage baskets. So you get to make nine with this kit. So here's the gingerbread. Handles are optional. They come on the panel, but you don't have to put them on. So look at the outside. This is little gingerbread. Um, the 20th of July is when I first demonstrated them. Look, they've got bases. You've got all of the gingerbread house around the side. And then the inside is the inside of the gingerbread house. So you've got the large one. These are all on the panel. And then you've got the medium one. And then you've got the small one. So those three, and then you get the exactly the same. So it's all, all this stuff is on the panel. Then you've got the um, Christmas sewing basket. So again, you've got the three sizes. You've got the large, the medium, and the small. And then on the inside, there's the outside. Look, you can see the Christmas sewing room with the elves only. And then on the inside, can you see? It's a bit dark, isn't it? Um, there we go. Then you've got the... Um, the inside of them like that. So that's the Christmas sewing. And then finally in this set is the winter seam. So you've got the again the large, the medium, and the small. There we go. So So you've got like Father Christmas going across this lovely wintry snowy scene and then the medium one has got houses on it and then so has the little one. So the panels and uh, the, everything is on the panels to make all nine of those um, sewing baskets. Those are the pictures of them and you get one set. You only need one set of instructions. So you save £10 by buying this mold kit. We don't have that many left in stock so if you want it you need to get that checked out. Um, anyway I'm just going to show you what's coming up tomorrow. And then we will just recap some bags. So who is is it? Who is on air tomorrow? We'll just check. Uh, it's Fix. Fix is on tomorrow. So eight o'clock, she will be here with you bright and early with sewing room tools. At nine o'clock, um, Kevy from Living in Loveliness is here with the Halloween Halloween wreath and bauble. Yeah, of course, because it's nearly Halloween. Well, for another few weeks. Uh, Rebecca Harrison is here. So a bit of dressmaking. The rom, the roomy gathered dress on top. Kerry will be back at 11 doing her um, living in loveliness Christmas. Oh, that'd be nice to see. And Rebecca will be back at 12 with the Tilly in the Button stretch book. That'll be great. I love Tilly in the Buttons patterns. Um, that's going to be a good day tomorrow. So join us tomorrow at 8 o'clock for that. Um, now, world launch, I love that word, world launch today of the Amber Makes Bags. Now, we had three of them, but the Christmas post box is sold out. I'm really surprised I voted, I thought this would be the, you know, I never, ever get it right. So, in the kit, if you missed it earlier, we do still have this one left, the Christmas shopping. So, this is the bag. Now, this one has got... Um, foam interfacing it to give it structure you don't need to put that in it's entirely optional this is your christmas shopping street so you've got the christmas emporium you've got the bookshop you've got the haberdashery and you've got the um the toy shop so everything you need to make that including it is fully lined with beautiful shops and everything on the inside you've also got all the pieces you need to make the pouch and that is fully lined as well with bricks so in the kit you get the panel to make this and you get the full instructions um i've got that i've got the gnomes i'll show you the gnome one because then you can see the, the, the panels oh no i haven't it is here i'm just not looking Right, let me just show you the panel and then I'll show you the gnome bag, just so you can see if you weren't watching earlier. So this is the panel. It's massive. You've got the front of the bag, the back of the bag. You've got the brick handles. You've got the cosmetic, well, the zip case, front back lining. You've got the pieces. The, um, the bag itself has a secret pocket. You've got the front and the lining and it comes with full instructions as well. Um, the other one that we do have left as well is the gnomes. It's the gnome family. 
I mean, and only just. If you want this, you need to check out now. We have only just got... We've got over 60 people with this in their baskets and less than that in stock. You need to check out if you want it. So this is the gnome family. There we are, the front and back of it. You've got the, it's fully lined. It's got the pocket and it's got the little um, cosmetic bag as well. Um, well, zip purse. So um, I will be back in, not next time. I'm going on holiday. I'm going to sunny Brittany on Friday. And um, so I won't be in next week. I will be in the week after that. And do you know what? It is... I'm coming in for Amber Make's second anniversary on the 26th of October. Three shows, brand new kits. Can't wait to see you then. Thank you for joining me today. It's been an absolute pleasure. I will see you in a couple of weeks' time. <laughs>